There has been a disaster tragedy that requires all of your immediate attention. Don't you stand there and judge me like I'm some kind of criminal. I am here merely to tell you that the day will come. I don't give a fuck. You either get used to it or you get lost. I'm working something out. It's called a metaphor. Well, what are you working out? It's a secret. That's why it's called metaphor. It's a secret. That's what metaphor means. Secret. <laughs> fuck those dumplings. Broadcasting live from downtown Cleveland. You're supposed to be dead. Sorry to disappoint. Could you um, roll me one of those cowboys? <laughs> Well, I'd like to bend her over a barrel and show her the 50 states, you know what I'm saying? On MorningShowCentral.com. You want to leave the condom off? Go for it. You think you got issues? Please, enlighten me. Wait till you get a load of these clowns. Who the fuck are you? Come here to get your weekly fix of Sick and Twisted. Yeah, it's got its tongue up my ass. No! No, 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 no. It's uncensored noise. noise. Come on in. Oh, and bring your whore. We'll all do some blood. What the fuck's going on? Showcentral.com. Yeah, that was uh, probably the first sign of the apocalypse. Previously, previously on Uncensored Net Noise. They said a recent study by this institute uh, did uh, some sort of like my, a call mining technology type thing where they, they listen to phone calls and so on and so forth from, you know, different uh, uh, companies out there. And, and they said that Ohio was the number one place that people are very vulgar on the phone and were very, very rude to people. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So we're first place. We're number one in that. We're doing okay. something right. Okay, we're doing something right. So we have a shitty ass baseball team. We have a shitty ass football team. We need to pay the baseball basketball. team and crack. And a, a fucked up basketball team. <laughs> and uh, But we're number one with using cuss words. Yes. Fantasies. Yes. That's something to be proud of. That is something to be proud of, <laughs> I mean, too. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Everything ah! is closing in. Hmm. All I know, someone's getting fucked up tonight with tartar sauce. That's all I got to say. When I saw the post on Facebook, I said, challenge accepted. And that was the end of it. These local bands in Cleveland know that I'm going to support them and help them out in any way possible. And if it's going to give me a great segment for my show, fuck yeah. We got a, a really cool interview. Actually, three of them. Don brought an extra one with him, too, with uh, Steel Panther. We're going to actually uh, hear from those guys, too, and uh, find out what's going on with them. Uh, so uh, and I think Billy's in there having an orgasm right now because I think he loves Steel Panther or something like that. Yeah. There you go. So we'll hear that a little later tonight, too. I even got the uh, dumb bitch that uh, did the national anthem for the hockey team or whatever it was, and she butchered the thing. No, Billy, you can't talk to him because we already did the interview with him. We're going to play the interview for you.
All these interviews were done by Dom at Rock at the Ra- Rock on the Range and uh, in Columbus. He was there with a booth and everything. And was also really cool. Michael Strong was in on that one with yeah. Steel Panther. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna listen to that when uh, we get around to it. So uh, I'm sure we can get him on the show eventually, live here or something like that. And then maybe when we do that, you can come back in, Billy, and talk to your idol. I'm We also have another interview with uh, Buck Cherry we're going to play tonight. And what was the other one? Damn, he got rock stars up the ass. Gemini Syndrome. Yeah, we're going to talk to them. Well, Dom's going to talk to them. We're going to listen to it, so we'll find out what, what, what happened there. I didn't hear any of these interviews yet, so I'll be surprised when oh, I... Oh, the Gemini Syndrome. That's That one's a good one. It's not crazy. Yeah. I'm telling you, the, the Steel Panther, it's definitely worth the wait. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. And the Buck Cherry one, that's, that's a, it's a normal one. I didn't get crazy with it. You should have got crazy with Buck Cherry. Yeah, but no. Nah. It did a song called Crazy Bitch. Come on. That was back in, that was like, what, five years ago? Yeah, so what, though? But it's still a, a, a good song, and, and I'm sure you guys could have went crazy with those guys. Yeah, but it was just me, and I was just hanging out there, and oh. I was tired. Oh, okay. And they just said, here, he said, oh, Xavier wants to talk to you. I'm like, oh, go bring him over here. Cause, you know, we go back a couple years and shit. So okay. All right. he came over and we just shot the shit for a little bit. Nice. All right. We'll listen to that, too. Uncensored net noise, you're on the air. What's up? Oh, damn, motherfucker. What up, brother? Oh, oh, it's you. Okay. You got to hold on a second. My intro's still going. Oh, he hung up. Damn it. What the hell? You shouldn't have hung up. Oh, yeah, Soil will be in town soon. I forgot to tell you. Did I tell you that one? No, you didn't tell me. Well, they'll be in town soon, um, and we're going to get them all in studio, and I'm going to need you here for that one, too. Okay. All right, cool. All right, you want to call the show? The number is 888-668-0742 or get to the website, morningshowcentral.com. Jump in the chat. Uh, Dom's in there right now. I sure am. Um, a lot of crazy stuff going on. Memorial Day weekend's coming up. I hope you guys are going to go out there. But the weather here in Cleveland sucks ass. Oh, yes. I mean, I had to turn my heat back on. I did, too. I woke up this morning. It was 68. I was like... I, I, have, I, got, I, had, I got an ear infection. Over this weekend with the weather changing and shit. Yeah, I know. All I hear in my head is one big. <sighs> That's all I hear. Yeah, it's probably because the, the the show that you went to. Oh, it wasn't loud, man. Well, you were. Oh, that's right. You were in the tent too, so yeah. it wasn't too bad. But yeah, I get it. But this weather is nuts. It was oh, like forty three degrees today, early this morning, and then the high was like fifty. What was it? Like fifty two. It's it's nuts. And then there was snow in um, Warren, Ohio. Today, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Niles, actually, Niles is where the snow was. I was seeing posts on Facebook saying that there was snow in Niles. I'm like, well, this is bullshit. I mean, this is almost June, and we got freaking snow coming in Cleveland. Alrighty, it's it's an insane though. What you got going on there? There you go. There you go. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping Memorial Day is gonna be nice though. If more, uh, you know, yeah, if it, I hope so too. Yeah, because I got I got family already here from out of town already, and. We're going to have a barbecue and hang out and everything like that. And I'm hanging out with old Fred. Oh, who? Pete Evick. Pete Evick. And Brett Michaels. Real, here in Cleveland? Yes. Where? Rip Cookoff. Oh, yeah. He is here in town. I forgot about that. I thought I forgot Brett's in town for that one. He does it every year. No, he hasn't been here in no, he shit, did it. like four or five years. No, he did it years ago. He was here for the Rip Cookoff two years ago. Uh, no. I could have swore it was. It was a little, a little longer than that. 
I could have swore it was like two years he ago. He hasn't played he was here. Cleveland in a while. Played Blossom um, two years ago. They didn't play last Who's year. Who's playing at that River Cookoff this year? I have no idea. I heard who was it? Rick Springfield or something? No, Rick's playing down in um, Cuyahoga Falls or some shit. Oh, okay. <sighs> Too many damn shows going on in Cleveland, though. And then he got the damn Avengers things going on. Yeah. It's got downtown all fucked up. You can't get nowhere. Yeah, they asked for me to if I wanted to be part of that, and I didn't have time on my schedule. You know, I checked, checked with my agent, and my agent just couldn't fit me in the schedule your, there. It just didn't work out. Your agent? I would have been, yeah. Who's I, your agent? I can't tell you. You can't tell me your agent? No. Well, agent 64. Yeah, right. Probably your, That's a plug out for that Cleveland band. That's your girl. Agent 64. Your girl is your agent. Said, nope, you're not leaving. That's what it is. She said, nope, you're not going nowhere. Um, Yeah, you got the, you got that going on here in Cleveland. Uh, the <coughs> the Indians are finally winning. They're doing pretty good. I can't believe they're in first place right now, but will that last? Yeah. Yeah, because every year, they at the end of the year, they always uh, end up dropping the ball on that one. But, shit the bed. Exactly. So... Hopefully they'll they'll be able to keep the winning streak going and and not shit the bed like Dom says. Shit the bed, right? Um, and then uh, a little later tonight, we I ha- hate it when you shit the bed. Uh, well, Billy was doing it earlier. Uh, he's going to do that tonight too. Billy from uh, Demons Within and also Darnell from Demons Within are in the our green room right now. There's a reason for them uh, being here tonight. Um, Mason from the band put out a post on Facebook saying. Uh, get us up to 1850 in likes on on the Demons Within Facebook page, and we'll make Billy eat tartar sauce. As soon as I saw that, I said, "Challenge accepted," and he's going to do it tonight on my show. Well, they're how many away now, Dom? Uh, looking at it last. Get ready to look at it once. Dom's going to look at it right now, and he's going to let us know how many how many. Now I knew they were probably about 80 off or something like that, 80 or 80 or 90 off or something like that. I don't know, they need fifty. They need eighteen fifty. Uh, they're um, sixteen away. Yeah, so they're only sixteen away. So, like I was telling Billy, I said before the night's out, you'll be at eighteen fifty. So it's not going to be a big deal. Um, so I told Billy, come on in. At, at that point, he said he couldn't because he was shit in the bed, like Dom said, uh, all day at work. And then he texted me, or actually Facebook me a little later and said, hey, I want to come in. Can Darnell come in? I'll eat the tartar sauce, blah, blah, blah. And I said, sure, come on in. So now that's why they're here. So uh, he's going to honor the bet with Mason. I'm going to administer the bet for Mason. And uh, we're going to get this all on uh, film here to document it so Mason can see it later because evidently Mason's busy with his girl or something like that right now, so he couldn't be here. Um, But, yeah, yeah. Don't put challenges out there to MSC, uh, especially the ones that we can handle, um, because we will uh, yeah, make sure they get done and you have to come in our studio and eat tartar sauce like Billy does. So I think that should be a, an ongoing thing. Tart- that would make you sick, man. We should do that with other bands. Hey, we'll get you to the certain point, and if we do, you got to eat tartar sauce. You got a good. This is good tartar sauce. I didn't buy it. Billy bought it. Oh, it must be his what his favorite is. Yeah, Bellevue tartar. Right, Bellevue tartar sauce, perfect for seafood and poultry. Yeah, he's gonna be yeah. It's yeah. only nine ounces. That's it. That's all they coming now. Eggs, oil, soybean, fructose, and relish. D- th- that right there alone is gonna fuck him up. Oh man, the eggs and relish oh, alone. Fuck that and he's gonna be shitting all night. He already said he had explosive diarrhea at work today. Damn, that'll do it. And he's going to have it more tonight. He's not going to sleep. Better him than me. Right, exactly. To stay away from me, though. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to work tomorrow? Oh, yeah, he's got a show. So he's going to be at the show tomorrow. Shitting himself. Shitting himself while he's playing drums. So here, I'll give you, I'll give you a bit of advice. Just take a bucket with you and sit on the bucket instead of the drum chair. And then you can just shit your heart out right there on stage. Just, you know, get one of those zipper zipper pants that go in the back and unzip it from the back. And then you can just sit there and shit all night and you won't have a problem. And then the, the looks on your face when you're grunting to get it out would just be, you know, a normal demon show. So you'd be fine. So, but that's the reason why Billy and Darnell are here. Darnell is actually going to feed Billy the tartar sauce um, with a spoon. What we're going to do is dump it into a cup 
and he's going to administer. Why do that? That's a squirty thing. Why is that squir- a squirty? Yeah, he just squirted right into his mouth. It's funnier if just Darnell fucking, feeds him. We well, put it right in there, right down his throat. <laughs> well, if Darnell wants to squeeze it in his mouth, Damn. that just sounds. Another that guy sounds bad. shooting some white shit down his mouth. <laughs> that sounds bad. Uh, <laughs> white shit coming down his chin. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> That's messed up. But yeah, uh, he's going to be here in the studio a little later tonight. We're going to talk to him, and we're going to get him to do that. So we'll see what happens there. All right, let's find out who we got on the line. Uncensored net. What up, nigga? Uncensored net noise. You're on the air. What's up? Yo, Dom, what up, nigga? Yo, you should get these dudes this shit in a pizza box or on that fucking Indian flag. Same shit, bro. <laughs> hey, what, where the, what place is the Mets in? What's the ass, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Rock on the rays, bro. You got That's fucking... Right. I was like, Dom, no, send me a fucking interview, man. You like Next that? You know, he sent me pictures of his fucking... At the food line. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here. I did send you a picture of the food I was eating. I was I was eating there with the artists and the people that did all the um, moving and all the stuff in. Well, I actually yeah, ate real good. Hey, then here. I was up there kicking in, in um, one of the suites with um, Black Veil Brides and a couple other bands. Um, Chad from Faster Pussycat, the drummer. We were we were all kicking it up there. We were eating good. Yo, yo, Dom, brother yeah. man, did you go into the mosh? I I was there for a second and I had a bail. Because, man, people were really getting fucked up. I mean, the ambulance were in and out, in and out, man. They were busy that whole weekend. By 1.30 every day, there was at least 100 people passed out out of the concrete. Didn't even make it to the grass. They were just laying there, baking in the sun, man. I felt bad for like them. Because, you, know, like, you know, the next day, man, they ought to feel like total shit, all dehydrated. Like dead fish. Oh, my God. <laughs> Better them than me. Yo, yo, Dow, how many, the question, real question, how yeah. many times did Michael Strong take a shit over the weekend? Um, I know, I know for a fact, well, we had White Castle on Sunday morning for breakfast. It didn't take him long before he had the White Castle shits. Uh, the day that, yeah, it was that day because he actually broke down and he had to use one of the porta potties. And oh, man, when you got 105,000 people using a porta potty, they're not that nice, man. And you're bound oh. to catch something, too. Oh, man. It just the horrid, wretched smell of human <laughs> feces accumulating over hours in 90 to 100 degree temperatures baking. It's oh, That's <laughs> nasty, man. Yo, Dom, what's the lineup for tomorrow, bro? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, I'm what, Maximum Threshold? We have, yeah, we have Metal Mike, we have Lane Steele, Steel Panther, Corey Taylor, and Mandy Lyon. All oh, packed sweet, into a one. So out of, out of all the interviews, you only got two to play next week. <laughs> next week. Hey, you haven't heard the Corey Taylor one. Just wait to hear that one. That one's nuts. Oh, you've been holding out, Domsky. I know. There's some I have to hold out. Right. It's worth it. You heard the Steel Panther one. What did you think uh, of that one? Yeah, that was tremendous, brother. Tremendous. Sticks in you, brother. <laughs> All right. Thanks tremendous. for calling. All right. Thanks for calling, bud. All right. Go fuck yourself. All right. There you go. There you go. All right. So. That's your fan, man. I know it is. So he got it. He got it. He got his time in. So he's good, though. I do have a story here real quick, though. Yeah. Um. I guess this uh, teen boy got his genitals bitten off by his girlfriend because... He refused sex from his girlfriend. So he refused sex from his girlfriend. His girlfriend cut it, chewed his shit off. Basically. Damn. Yeah. 19 year old uh, high school student uh, has been arrested after authorities say she bit her boyfriend's penis when she uh, when he refused to have sex with her. Damn. Mm hmm. Uh, right now, they're. 19. Think about it. When you 19. were 19, did you have any problems putting out? I had no problems. Ref- I don't. I, I wouldn't. I don't refuse sex at 19. I don't know any Were you any getting person. any when you were 19? Oh, of course, yeah, all the time. Your it's, hands don't count. And no, your, I'm, I'm And not, your pillows don't count. I'm not. And your, your mattresses, when, you know, in between the two mattresses, that don't count. Uh, fucking fruit doesn't count. Your dog doesn't count. No, yeah, definitely. Well, I don't know. Your dog does count. No, your dog doesn't count for yeah, you. Yeah, because you're, cause they come back for more. Yeah, okay. But anyways, yes. Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're saying, though. 19 years old, yeah, you're you're a sex hound. You want sex and everything. Why would it? I'm just thinking that this, this kid might, you know, be a, kind of a, you know, a fruit if he's not, you know. 
Yeah. Going, trying to get sex from his girl. You know what might, what might have happened? Or he's a dog. Or no, he was probably screwing some other chick. Might be. Earlier that day. And right. like, he was like, man, I I still got this, I still got this stinky pussy shit on my dick from this other bitch that I was at right. a few minutes earlier, man. And I'm not going to pull this out because she's going to smell some other stank hoe on me. Right. You know, some other cum dumpster that was wrapped around my pay pay. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm not going to, I don't want to pull that out yet. I didn't get a chance to clean it. So I wasn't putting out. Right. So she was like, fuck this. She goes, she wanted something. He was like, no, you know, because he still had that, um, that's that, um, fucking, what do you call that? Fucking meat curtain still, juice still hanging all over his shit. And he just, <laughs> he just had, he didn't get a chance to go wipe it off. So she was, she was taking it. From there, she was like, fuck you. You ain't giving it to me. Nobody else is getting it. Okay. It, it also, here's the, here's the first thing. Here's the first uh, problem with it, too. Oh, and I, that I was, was my saying. rant. All right. There's a, here's another re- uh, reason that this is kind of weird, though. They also have a kid together, an infant. So. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. The couple has an infant together, too. So he he turned around, he, he refused sex from her. They have an infant together. According to the police report, it says that she followed him and slapped him and spit in his face. He declined medical treatment, which also included scratches on his chest. The victim wasn't wasn't identified. What? what? How the victim was not identified? The guy who got his shit chewed up. Well, the, her name was identified. His yeah. name wasn't. Why? Why couldn't you find him? I don't. Want, well, no, they they know who the kid is, but they yeah. wouldn't they, they weren't going to put it out there to. The, What's her name? Her name is. I'm finding this whore on on Facebook. Uh, She's she obviously loves meat. Uh, Chris Crystal uh, Harrison. It's K R Y. Okay. Yeah, Crystal Harrison. And uh, she's from Florida. There's a Crystal Harrison in Cleveland Heights. No, she's in Florida. She she lives in Florida. Braden, Florida. Is she black? She's white. Yeah. So did she put out on the first day? I have no idea. Well, evidently, evidently so because she bit off, or tried to bite off her boyfriend's penis because he wouldn't give her any. He said Florida, right? Right, Braden, Florida. She's is she white? Yes. Is she, is she Mexican? No, she's got brown hair, kind of chubby. I seen a picture of her on the on the website where I got this from. She's kind of chubby. She I'm will look for her. All right. But anyways, yeah, she's uh, on bail right now for uh, 15, uh, 15 grand, so or 1500 I'm sorry. So 1500 would get you a piece. I That's guess. That's cheaper than a good escort. It might be, yeah. Because this be. bitch is hungry for some meat. <laughs> right. Some sausage. Have you ever been to a hockey game? Yes, I have. Okay. Um, you know, you went to a baseball game, a hockey game, a football game, they all start off with the national anthem or whatever the case may be and, you know, Star Spangled Banner and all this other crap. Have you ever heard anybody butcher the Star Spangled Matter Banner before? Matter of fact, I have. I was at the San Diego Padres game mm-hmm. when, uh, oh, what was her name? Um, fucking. Roseanne Barr? That's it. I was at that one. That's that was, Matter of fact, that was the only baseball game I went to in San Diego. Really? When I lived out there. Huh. And I went there and saw that. Well, I thought she did a good job. Well, this bitch butchered the Star Spangled Banner. And I, I got a little bit for you. It's, it's a little long, but you'll get the gist of it. Kindly remove your headwear and join tonight's honor guard representing the Korea Veterans Association of Canada and the Canadian Peacekeepers and Alexis Norman in the singing of the Star Spangled Banner and O Canada. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam Whose broad stripes and bright stars Knew the peril in I All the rare parts we watched <laughs> Whose broad stripes and bright stars At the dawn's early <laughs> Whatsoever Oh, say 
wasn't that bad. She butchered it. Yeah, yeah, she did. But that wasn't that But did bad. you notice that the crowd had to help her out That's at the right. end? They should do that. They helped her out, and, and uh, she was able to do the Millie Vanilli thing yeah. and get through the rest of it. I would have just walked off. Right, exactly. And then you should have heard her yeah, sing Oh, Canada. She oh, screwed. Did you say, did you, just, did you have Oh, Canada? No, I don't have that. They didn't put that one out on YouTube. Oh, but man. They, she fucked Nash. Is she American? She's ca- Canadian, and she fucked up the Canadian national no anthem, too. Way. Yes. She doesn't even know her own. She's Damn. from Canada, and she doesn't even know her own, let alone the United States. Damn. Does she put on the first date? Uh, we can always ask her. We can send What's her, her an name? email. What's her name? Uh, and plus, she's a jazz singer. Oh, there! What's her name? Uh, uh, Alexis Normand. Alexis, how do you spell that? It's uh, A L E X Alexis. A L E X I S Normand, N O R M A N D. Oh, I found her. Yeah, she's a Canadian. She's from Canada. Oh, she's she's nice. Yeah, she's a yeah she's a jazz singer. So yeah, she uh, doing the national anthem for you the see United a picture States. Of her? Oh yeah, I seen her. It's, it's horrible, dude, that she screwed it up. Though. She's pretty, but she's, yeah. yeah. She screwed up the national anthem big time, though. I mean, wouldn't you think if, if you have the honor to do that sort of thing, you would actually practice to get it right the first time? I'm sure she did, but. Well, what the fuck's the problem? You got to think now, what, what, this is a hockey game? She this is said? a hockey game, too. Oh, man. Yeah. Fuck. It's a hockey game where they, they actually are proud to listen to the national anthem. Hey, can we have somebody out there in the chat room there or anybody any of the listeners out there who go to hockey games? I need to know what type of atmosphere is in a hockey game. If somebody were really to screw this up like in the States, you know, what kind of reception would, would they get? Yeah. Would they want to whip their whip her ass or what? Probably so. Somebody call in. Call in 888-668-0742. We'd like to hear your comments on that. Yeah, I want to find out what they have to say about that, too. Because, it, I mean, you know when you go to, like, a baseball game and yeah. they're doing it, they and if you screw up, man, you're all over national headlines. Yeah. You know, because you screwed up bad. Hockey games, not so much, but... Did you ever get to sing the national anthem? I wouldn't do it. I sing the national anthem. What did you sing? My about? kid's T-ball well, that's well. That's great then. You did that's it for your kids, right. So. I took charge. Horns up. Speaking of kids, man, my kid. I'm so proud of her, man. I yeah, am, I was reading your post about her. I am so proud, she's a, man. She's going to doctorate school now. Well, no. <laughs> um, she's actually she got her PhD and M- MBA. She's 12 years old. University of Phoenix. No, she's not. My going. alma mater. Hell yeah. She's not going there. But uh, <laughs> she's 12 years old, going into the seventh grade, and she's already she already has. A scholarship. I was throwing the shocker out by request. She's already got a scholarship for the Ohio State University. That's sweet. So I'm impressed. If I she really am. if she keeps if she keeps her uh, GPA above three point something and four point oh, she'll be able to get a full free ride to Ohio State and and do whatever the hell she wants. Nice. So I'm so proud of her though. I am uh, too, man. Tell her I'm proud of her too. I will when I when I go home tonight. She's probably listening right now too. Who knows? Um, we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, I want to get uh, Billy in here. Let's uh, do this uh, little tartar sauce thing, or should we wait and do an interview first? What do you want to do first, Dom? An interview and then Billy, or yeah, do do an interview. You want to do an interview first? All right. Well, um, we're going to do which one first? Still Panther? We said. Oh, let's hold that off on that one. You want to do that one last? Yeah, because okay. that's worth waiting for. We'll tease that one the rest of the night. Okay. Uh, so you want to do the uh, Buck Cherry one first? Yeah, I might as well knock this, that sissy one out. All right, let's uh, let's do the Buck Cherry one. We'll take a break. We'll do the Buck Cherry interview, and then we'll come back, and we'll have Billy in uh, studio, and we'll talk to him for a little bit. Uh, you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. <laughs> Don't touch that mouse. Or we'll come to your home and pistol whip you. Ah! You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, this is Pete Snyder from Twisted Sister, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. 
If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. You want a date? I'm going to puke on you. Gee, I don't think I have a price for that. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. If you have a product or service, let people know know about it. Get your message out there and advertise on MSC Radio Network. It's easier than you think. And the whole planet is listening. (laughs) Find out how you can advertise. Email Chris at MorningShowCentral.com. Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits, a 99.5% uptime guarantee, and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only three dollars a month you have no excuse not to get a server of your own plus with the option to add auto dj and on-demand services you can be confident your station will be all it can be custom plans are also available at their website simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the shoutcast hosting link to get started right now Hey, local bands and unsigned artists. What if I told you there was a place in Cleveland where you can get your merch made and have it sold in one location? What if I said you could bring your CDs and tickets to upcoming shows to this location? And what if I said you could do live acoustic sets at this location? I bet you're thinking there's no such place in Cleveland. Guess what? You'd be wrong. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland and tell him you need merch made and you want to sell it in his store. Now, how cool is that? You can tell your fans to come down and get your stuff. And I think he'd ship your products to your fans. And he's local. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland today. 216-622-0377. That's 216-622-0377. Call the show toll free. 1 888 668 0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Check out Uncensored Net Noise every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh, great. Not another farm bill request. Check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MorningShowCentral. Denying one farm bill request at a time. <coughs> the following. Prepare to get your car rocked rock. to Kingdom Come. Welcome back to the show that doesn't discriminate. We'll bang everyone equally. You can handle that? You've got a job. It's Uncensored Net Noise. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 1-888-668-0742. I know, I know, oh my God, I know what we're going to do. Oh, it's so delicious, I can almost taste it. If you're looking for the best sub shop in town, look no further. Hanini Subs, located at 7310 Lorraine Avenue, is the place for you. Stop in for a cold cut sub, cheeseburger and fries, wingdings and fries, and so much more. I can almost taste it. Hanini Subs at 7310 Lorraine Avenue is open 24 hours a day. Check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash burrito crazy. And if you mention MSC Radio Network, you'll get a dollar off your meal. It's all good at Hanini Subs. So damn good. The following message is for those with a credit score of 800 and below. Who wouldn't want better credit? Did you ever wonder how different life would be from just having a higher credit score? Are you tired of being turned down for any kind of loan or only offered high interest rates because your credit score is holding you prisoner? Life doesn't have to be that way anymore with access to Turn Score. By increasing your credit score only 50 to 100 points, it can potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars in interest over just a 5 to 10 year period. It can be the difference 
difference in getting approved for a personal loan, business loan, high limits on credit cards, a brand new car lease, or even a home mortgage. We see so many ads from companies that give us our credit score, but once we get our credit score, what are they going to do to actually repair your credit? Unfortunately, nothing. Until now, TurnScore is the first automated credit repair platform that is simple, safe, and secure. You'll be empowered right from the comfort of your own computer so you can challenge and repair your credit report to ensure it's fair and accurate. TurnScore is specifically developed with you in mind. There's no more need for an attorney, credit repair companies, or credit counseling. More importantly, no more need for paying higher fees. TurnScore will help you get back on track and get the buying power you need. So whether you have bad credit, average credit, or even good credit. TurnScore is helping turn lives around one credit score at a time. Go to TurnScore.com and enter the promo code MSC20 and get 20 bucks off your purchase. That's T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. TurnScore.com. Previously on Uncensored Net Noise. If I want to play Necros on my on my station, I can do that. Demons Within, Morality Check, whoever, 3SO, all those guys. If I want to play any band that I want, I should be able to do that. It's my station. I can do what the hell I want. If I want to play polka music on my station for six <laughs> hours, cool. I can do that. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm thinking about doing that, too. Do it. Please do it. <laughs> I'm thinking about playing polka music. Like Shoot up on us like leaving here or something. That was <laughs> something. Kick ass. You know, just play polka music for fucking 36 hours straight. Oh, my God. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be great. But, yeah. That's that's the thing though is that you know there's a lot of a lot of like I guess political stuff involved with being with a label yeah and it kind of sucks though. <laughs> this is Dominic and Xavier and what band are you with? I'm uh, with Buck Cherry. That's right. <laughs> and we had the opportunity to have you know almost the whole band on our show over the years, and it's it's really great you know to finally get you back here again and sitting down with us and just BSing with us and just. Great new one on Confessions. I love it. Thank Some you. good stuff, man. Thank you. Yeah, so it's, uh, a little BS is always good. Um, yeah, things are going good. It came out in February, and it's uh, doing well and going strong. And um, we don't see uh, we don't see coming off the road until probably early 2014. So uh, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, those things. It's gotta be. It's gotta be nice to look at down the road. We actually can get, start planning stuff down the road. Like, okay, we'll be gone for this whole year. You know. Um, Obviously enables us to get out there and and, uh, and keep touring, and bringing the music to the fans, which is the most important thing. But to know that you're going to be out, you know, for a year solid, uh, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You know, it, it, it's good to know that you're having, that you're working, and that um, you're doing what you love. Uh, but in the same sense, you, you miss a lot of things. You, know? you miss a, a year of the, of the lives of the people that you love. You know, and you miss birthdays and you miss funerals and weddings and all that type of stuff. But you know, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the trade-off that you do when, when you get, uh, you know, um, blessed enough to be able to do stuff like this. So, uh, do you have kids? I do not, no. Oh, no? no I live vicariously through my band. Oh, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> They're all their kids. I, yeah, <laughs> and I have a lot of friends who have kids, so when I'm around them, I'm pretty much the guy who smothers them completely. I hear you. So, <laughs> so what, is some, what is a couple things that we should expect from Buck Cherry, uh, like on the stage when you guys are playing? Is there anything, a new set stage or anything like that coming up? You know, actually, we kind of did the exact opposite, where most bands uh, bring out Uncensored net noise. That's the thing, though. Uh, what's some of the local 
like playing with? I mean, when you, when you go out and you you know you want to have a good time, who are some of the local bands you like dealing with? Oh, my given, Rolled by Reason. Okay. I love those guys. They're good friends, amazingly talented musicians. Okay. Yeah. And how about um, you? Um, Psycho. Well, we're we're gonna play for the first time with Psychosis. We're all good friends with them. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ruled by Reason, Necros Obscura. Okay. Um, Everybody in the in the scene is yeah. actually pretty cool. No matter I, who I, it is. Yeah, I heard about those guys from Necros. They're a bunch of idiots. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Crazy. Especially, that, especially, especially that Eric that, guy. Yeah. That Eric guy. He's a freaking idiot. Man. Player running around <laughs> with a broken foot and shit. Right. He, he he likes to come on my show and you know make people drink great drink, especially black guys. So, and uh, white guys that think they're black guys, right, exactly. <laughs> well, much like him, right? <laughs> if you play the tape of our show backwards, you'll discover a secret message. Itch, 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 itch. Welcome back to Uncensored Ned Noise. Call the show. The number is 888-668-0742. Or get to the website, morningshowcentral.com. Jump in the chat. Dom's in it right now. Hell, hell yeah. I have uh, Darnell. He's off camera. And I also have Billy that's on camera. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk to Billy for a little bit. I'm going to uh, see what's going on in his head today. And, and there's a certain word that he can't pronounce, too. And I want to see if he can pronounce it on the air, too. Preposterous. Yeah, can you can you say that word? Preposterous. Preposterous. <laughs> nope, can't say it. Hippopotamus. Say Hippopotamus. That okay. Egglu. Egglu. Can't even say it. Pac- specific. Specific. Why can't why 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 you why in the hell can you say what's a big ass word? Mom. Disestablishmentarianism. Yeah, can you say that? What? <laughs> Disestablishmentarianism. Disestablishmentarianism. See? Fucking retard. Right, exactly. Super ca- supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Nah. No? Nah. Can't say that? Nah. Try it. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Super something. Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. <laughs> you can't say that, huh? No? Oh. Can you play drums? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Sometimes? No, all the time. Okay. All right, so I got Billy here from Demons. Evidently, there was a challenge made by Mason that, uh, what was this whole thing about with this tartar sauce? How did this come about? We weren't supposed to shave for two months. Okay, get closer to the microphone when you're going to talk. We weren't supposed to shave for two months, and I shaved. Okay. And I lost. You lost. And then and, and, uh, how did the tartar sauce come into play, though? Well, that was the whole bet. Okay. The first person to shave had to eat a thing of tar- tartar sauce. Okay. So what did the 1850 come into play? I don't know. That was random. That was just random? Yeah. Well, you, you're you close to 1850 right now because what, 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 the last count was what? Like 16 away or something like that? Uh, 15 away? I'm going to check that out right now. Yeah, Dom's checking it out right now. We'll see what, what's going on. But like I said, at the end of the show here, we'll be able to get you the 1850 that you need. So 1835, there, there you 15 go. away. Yeah, you're 15 away. So there's the tartar sauce, ladies and gentlemen. Here's here's a cup, and um, here's a spoon that Darnell's going to use to feed Billy with. Okay? Um, now... The rule was is that you have to eat this whole entire thing. No, 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 no. Yes. I have to eat it until a jar. I throw you have, up. You have I have to eat it until I throw up. That was the deal. Well, according to according to the Facebook, according it said you had to eat a jar of tartar sauce. Didn't it say that? Am I right? Yeah, I did say you have to eat a jar, dude. So here's the jar of tartar sauce. Now, I even said, Billy, go buy the tartar sauce. Now, he could have bought a smaller one than this. Actually, he could have brought a packet in and it would have been cool. See I what told I'm saying? you, dude, you should have brought a fucking pack, dude. So he brought, he brought a nine ounce jar. So he kind of fucked himself. So it's on him now. So you have to eat the jar. We're, we're a team. We're, we're a team, don't know. 
Me and you were a team. No, you're white and I'm black. I'm not doing it. Right, exactly. It's not happening. He's out. Actually, I'm black. I'm going to feed it to I'm you. I'm blacker than you. I wanted to black off. Whatever. You did leave with a watermelon, didn't you? Yeah, you yes, did. Yes, and grape drink. Where right. the hell was I at? You were gone. Oh, you I couldn't make it. Then. You had to work, yeah, yeah or something like that. Yeah. You were in jail. <laughs> you were in jail. <laughs> Burn. All right. You pay child support. <laughs> All, right. All right. So that's the that's the agreement that you have to eat the whole entire thing, right? I don't know. So uh, you know, oh, I don't that. see that all happening. So yeah, like, there's you, just no way. Oh, look at that! Mm. Dude. The, this is yummy. Oh my god, it's sickening. Oh my god! Look at all that Jewy man juice there. You can smell the freaking. Oh my god! Yeah, dude, I can smell it. Whatever. You can smell the freaking. Um, <laughs> just think of that as a real bad porn. It's like cum. This man. Just think of it's man juice. Going that's on from here. man. That's man dingle release. Right. Exactly. <laughs> See what I do for the band. Just, just think of it's like. Oh I mean, man, I, I wouldn't be taking one for the this team is like pop- This is this is for the band. Oh. <laughs> that's what you're gonna sound like later. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wanna be a blah. Blah. You're gonna make Joe very proud, just so you know. Ah, uh, mm. looking good. That's enough. No. Well, no, it's still <laughs> there's still shit in there, buddy. Shh. Hold on. No, 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 <laughs> I'm getting it all, dude. dude Finger it's, licking it's good. Cool. It's cool. No, it's not cool, Chill man. Out. Uh, yeah, see, uh, there was a lot more in there. Oh my god, this thing's almost. It's, it's almost a half a cup here. It's cool. Hold on. Uh, Last one right here, and then we're done. Are you gonna eat some of this? Hell no, I'm not eating any of this. Got some fish with that. My, my heart's going to clog up and I'm going to die. Bring me my filet of fish. All right. Ooh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll mix it up for you a little bit here. A little bit of... I know, need some bread. Man juice here for you. <laughs> some fish, dude. Oh, give me a napkin, please. No, no, right lick there. it. I ain't eat licking it. that eat shit. It. Hell no. I eat it. Is that, is that shit kosher? Uh, no, uh, uh, it is with it has pickles in it, so uh, yeah, evidently, uh, yeah, and it's got uh, vinegar in it, so yeah, it, it would be kosher. Uh, so, all right, Darnell, um, commence feeding him. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love this dude. Yeah, yeah, I smell like fucking tartar sauce now. Oh. Shit's nasty. Come all right, so the, come get some of this chocolate mango. No, you get over by the camera. No, no, you have to get up, Darnell. So go right over by him and feed him. Ready. Nice big scoops. Right. Nice big scoops right oh. there. Oh, it's just dripping. Oh. <laughs> dude. Fucking puke that way, dude. <laughs> Come on. Take it like a man. Take it like a man. Come on. Come on. You already make it look like you get. <laughs> Come on. That's what the man, dude. Hold it in. You ready? Go, oh, guys. I'm puke. I only took one, it took of one bite, it took man. You took one bite of Target sauce and tell me how much you like it. You took one bite. Uh, just ripping, dripping down your mouth, dude. It was like man juice. It's on your arm. <laughs> you ever been in jail? Then you've had it before. <laughs> Come on. Take another bite. Come on, Billy. Hey, there's kids in Africa that would love this shit. Eat exactly. Oh, uh, he's feeding him. Oh, like, like a little baby bird. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's coming? <laughs> dude, <laughs> <laughs> Don't puke on me, dude. I swear to God. Just do the baby face. bird making puke in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Here comes the airplane. Here comes the airplane. <laughs> Make the noise. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking oh, funny. <laughs> oh, you are, you're almost done, dude. The only thing you get to drink after this is despair. Uncensored net noise. You're on the air. What's up? Where in God's name did you find these two jackasses? Uh, I found them on Facebook. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> Darnell said hello. Oh. <laughs> Fucking jackasses. <laughs> I love you, Joe. Yeah, he's going to kick us off the bed now. <laughs> Ready? All right, here we go. Oh. Yeah, nice big bite. There you go. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. So what do you think about this, Joe? Well, we'll, we'll get him. <laughs> we'll look at him. Now, now, aren't you happy that you didn't come to this tonight? 
this is this is not doing my band any good. <laughs> if anybody's actually watching, that. I wish you were here to feed me. <laughs> uh, but aren't you aren't you glad you weren't here tonight, Joe, to, to witness this? But you're actually online witnessing it right now, though. Dude, there's like celery and shit in there. It's nasty. All right, oh, dude, how much is left? Oh, uh, take another bite. Come on, let's go do this. Dude, I so I love Joe. Did I ever tell you I love your band? Oh, I love great. Your, I love your band, dude. Somebody has to. I love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Hey, we're doing this for more likes, Joe. Come on. Yeah, we got you more likes too, so come on. But I, I wasn't. Who else, didn't uh, Mason set up for what? How many do you want to get to? Eighteen fifty. Eighteen. Did we get to eighteen fifty at least? Well, you're you're uh, fifteen away, but we'll get it by the end of the night. Yeah. <laughs> did uh, did Twiddly D and Twiddly Dump plug our shows? Oh, uh, they're gonna do that after they're eating this uh, tartar sauce. He, he he can't even speak right now. <laughs> Well, that's what we got Darnell yeah, for. Yeah, I'm here, dude. We got the token black man here. He'll take care of it for you. It's all Darnell, right, Joe. Darnell doesn't even know when we are playing. <laughs> I know we're playing tomorrow. Well, I know we're playing tomorrow. Yeah, we got that. And Wednesday. Oh, my that's God. That's all that matters. Oh, my God. Hold on, I got to take another bite. How much, how much more of this crap does he have to eat? It's, it, there's a lot it's left in like it. Nine there's, oh. there's nine yeah, ounces. Like two more left. Dude. There's nine ounces in that jar, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it coming? Come on, you can do it. Don't be a sissy. Think of this as like a sissy fear factor. Yeah. This is actually a, a really sissy fear factor. I wonder what's going through TC's head right now. TC's laughing his ass off right now. <laughs> is he even on? I, don't, I haven't seen him talk in yet. He's probably watching right now. Probably just dying laughing right now. He's he's probably having a coronary right now, I'll throw it laughing so hard. Oh my god! Do they get any chicks dig this? Uh, but now with that white shit on your lips, no. I don't think so. Chicks with dicks. Yeah, chicks with yeah, dicks would. Funny, dude. What about now? <laughs> Do you think I can score? I don't think you're gonna score at all at all at at any time. Oh my god! All right, here we go. How many more we got there, uh, Darnell? Uh, he's got maybe like a, like after this one, maybe one more. All right, so he's got two more. He's got this one and one more. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> All right. Ready? Take it like a man. Take it like a man. Let's go. He's used to hearing that. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Is he going? Just make sure you get over there, Dom, with the camera. If he starts ralphing, dude. All I do is make it sound... I hope this sounds like a dog yeah, yeah. making sick. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't bother me, it's that. It's that. Yeah, this shit's fucking stinky. It, it's the, it's the vinegar in it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's making it bad. Oh, God. oh, my God. Just think of it as man seed. You'll be okay. <laughs> man seed. <laughs> See punch him in the fucking nuts. Yeah, just, just punch him in the stomach. He'll throw up real quick. <laughs> Oh, there's like love between these two. Yeah. There's love there. Oh, look at that. Come on, one more. One more. That's all you got, dude. There's nothing better than Do the a, airplane. Come on, do the airplane. There's nothing right? better than seeing a black man feeding a white man tartar. I know, right? <laughs> oh, Come on. Come on. You can do it, Billy. Last one right here, dude. Ready? Do the airplane. Here we go. Yeah. You got it, oh, Bill? God, oh. Get it? Oh, did you get it? Please tell me oh, you're getting this. I got part of it. Oh. Uh, did oh. you, he Ralphed. He's starting know. to Ralph. Nope. Here it comes. Right. Here it comes. This is really bad, dude. Here it comes. Oh, oh, Joe, this is for you. This is for you, Joe. That was bad. Bullshit. <laughs> Oh, so you good? Oh no. You gonna Ralph? Uh, eventually, yeah. Okay. He's probably gonna end up puking like on the ride home. Uh, dude, it's in his car too. That's oh, awesome. Dude. That's awesome. No, I'm gonna Projectile vomiting in his car. It's gonna be great. I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> he, really? He's gonna actually do that? Oh my god. We, <laughs> gotta, we gotta see it. We gotta see that your guts come up. Get that mic ready. All right, here we go. That's that's sort of sexy. Oh, oh I got there. 
I'm not gay or anything, but that's kind of hot. Fucking gross, man. I got it all out. Uh, we good. Uh, you got it all out? Yeah. All right. I'm a winner. Hey, You're you a winner? all over your wall, Chris. You got to clean that shit up. Did you get it on my wall? You don't have an intern, do you? Uh, I don't have an intern yeah. tonight. You motherfucker, you know, dude. Yeah, you got to leave that for tomorrow. I got it on my pants. How well, do you guys feel? I got some disinfecting oh, wipes. You can clean it off later. All right, Joe, where are you guys playing at, man? Yeah, well, tomorrow night we're going to be down in Akron at the Old Haunts Tavern. Okay. We're going to we're going to be playing with a band out of Detroit called Laid in Stone. They are also signed to Dark Harvest Records. And then uh, we are going to be also sharing the stage with a band from Norway. They're going to be coming in for this show too. So it should be interesting to say the least. Uh, I just I, I would recommend for Billy a bucket instead of an actual drum chair. Because he's going to be shitting the whole entire night of the show. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's fantastic. Right. No, I'm getting it all out now, Joe. Joe sounds so happy. Joe sounds happy. But yeah, he did. He did complete the tartar sauce here, the tartar sauce challenge with uh, for with Mason. You can thank your buddy Mason for for this. So. Did uh, Mason call in? No, Mason is with his girl right now on a date. <laughs> sure he is. <laughs> Burn. So I'm sure he is. So uh, he, he made the challenge. Look, you got you know me. I did it. You got, you know me, Joe. If if there's a challenge gonna be made, I'm gonna accept it and I'm gonna do it. Especially it had nothing to do with me at all. But I actually said okay, challenge accepted. When when someone said give me to 1850, that's easily said and done. I can get you to 1850. Right. So I got you to 1850. Almost you're like what 14, 15 off or something like that right now, Dom. Is that yeah, what it I'm is? checking it right now. Uh, Dom's checking it right now. So if you if you do me a favor right now, go to Facebook right now, facebook.com forward slash demons within, and give these guys a like. Uh, they're real good friends of the show. Joe's like a brother to me, and I'm really happy that you guys got signed to a label. And uh, just re- just remember, yeah, thank you. when you guys uh, decide to make it big, like uh, uh, all those other big name uh, uh, musicians out there, don't forget us little guys. All right. No, that ain't gonna happen, man. I'm he already forgot up. about you. I'm always gonna come here and eat tartar sauce with you. I'm, nice. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna try to forget Billy, but you know. So How can you forget me? I'm gonna try to forget him out drums. on the road somewhere. <laughs> He's gonna lose you on the road somewhere. I play the where's drums. Your, where's your, where's your drummer? Don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm right next to you. <laughs> no, you're not. Not for long. You're hey, not. hey, do you want to so, go to Munchies? Yeah. So we got that going on tomorrow, and then Wednesday we just got a show added up at the Foundry. We're playing with the band called Insight. It's uh, Richie from uh, Max Cavalera's son. Richie, it's his band. So oh, we're going to be playing at the Foundry with him Wednesday night. Oh, Richie's a cool guy, man. Yeah, we're going to be playing with them. We did a show with them a couple of years ago when we played with Soulfly and Straight Line Stitch down in Columbus at the El Rosa. Oh, nice. Uh, that's the first time I ran into uh, his son's band, Insight. So we played a show with them there, and now we're going to be playing with them at the Foundry on Wednesday. Awesome, awesome. All right, any anything, any parting words for your two uh, knuckleheads, uh, uh, fellow musicians for Demons Within? Um, yeah, get your shit cleaned up, get your shit together, because we do have a show tomorrow. Hey, at least we, we hey, me and Billy actually worked on the riff for a new song today. Yeah, it's actually pretty well, fucking yeah, we were good. Did he, did he tear? Did he tear his drum set down? Because he's gonna be sick all day tomorrow. Now, no, uh, I'm fine. I got it all out. Is that what it is? Wait till yeah. he starts right. burping that shit up later. Well, get, get, get the likes up, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Dom, Chris, I'll talk to you guys later. Have All a right, good bro. one, brother. Appreciate Bye. it, Joe. Bye. Later. Bye, guys. Later. Bye. There you go. There's Joe from Demons Within. And um, you going to stick around for a little bit, and um, or are you guys going to jump out of here? He looked like he's about to fucking like kill over and die. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to stick around for the show, the rest of it, or do you want to bounce? Do you want me to stick around if for you, the rest if, of the show? If you like, because it's 10 o'clock right now and the show's till 11. Well, you, you said you wanted to listen to the Steel Panther. Right? right? Oh, yeah, I do want yeah. to listen to that. Yeah. All right, what we'll do real quick, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back and uh, we'll play not the Steel Panther interview. Oh, my God. We'll play the other one. Why? Uh, Called Gemini, Gemini Syndrome. Syndrome. We'll play them when we come back from break. So you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Uncensored Net Noise. Every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, on Morning Show Central Radio Network.
MorningShowCentral.com. Got time on your hands? Oh, fuck! Ow! 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 Send us an email. Hit the Contact Us page on MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. User-friendly and ready to serve. MorningShowCentral.com. If you have a product or service, let people know about it. Get your message out there and advertise on MSC Radio Network. It's easier than you think. And the whole planet is listening. Find out how you can advertise. Email Chris at MorningShowCentral.com. Call the show toll free. 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. MSC Radio Network has just tweeted the following. This bowel movement won't come out. Check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash MSC Radio Network. User friendly and ready to serve. MorningShowCentral.com. Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits. A 99.5% uptime guarantee and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only 3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. This is President Barack Obama, and you're listening to MSC Radio Network. Hey, local bands and unsigned artists. What if I told you there was a place in Cleveland where you can get your merch made and have it sold in one location? What if I said you could bring your CDs and tickets to upcoming shows to this location? And what if I said you could do live acoustic sets at this location? I bet you're thinking there's no such place in Cleveland. Guess what? You'd be wrong. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland and tell him you need merch made and you want to sell it in his store. Now, how cool is that? You can tell your fans to come down and get your stuff. And I think he'd ship your products to your fans. And he's local. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland today. 216-622-0377. That's 216-622-0377. 622-0377. Got time in your hands? Oh, fuck! Ow! 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 What? Ow! Send us an email. Hit the contact us page on morningshowcentral.com. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. Net Noise. Check out Uncensored Net Noise every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise. On morningshowcentral.com. There's more to life than mindless entertainment. Than mindless entertainment. You'll find out right after our show. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on MorningShowCentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 1-888-668-0742. I know, I know, oh my god, I know what we're gonna do. Oh, it's so delicious, I can almost taste it. If you're looking for the best sub shop in town, look no further. Hanini Subs, located at 7310 Lorraine Avenue, is the place for you. Stop in for a cold cut sub, cheeseburger and fries, wingdings and fries, and so much more. And almost taste it. Hanini Subs at 7310 Lorraine Avenue is open 24 hours a day. Check them out on Facebook, facebook.com slash burrito crazy. And if you mention MSC Radio Network, you'll get a dollar off your meal. It's all good at Hanini Subs. So damn good. 
The following message is for those with a credit score of 800 and below. Who wouldn't want better credit? Did you ever wonder how different life would be from just having a higher credit score? Are you tired of being turned down for any kind of loan or only offered high interest rates because your credit score is holding you prisoner? Life doesn't have to be that way anymore with access to Turn Score. By increasing your credit score only 50 to 100 points, it can potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars in interest over just a five to 10 year period. It can be the difference in getting approved for a personal loan, business loan, high limits on credit cards, a brand new car lease, or even a home mortgage. We see so many ads from companies that give us our credit score, but once we get our credit score, what are they going to do to actually repair your credit? Unfortunately, nothing. Until now, TurnScore is the first automated credit repair platform that is simple, safe, and secure. You'll be empowered right from the comfort of your own computer so you can challenge and repair your credit report to ensure it's fair and accurate. Turn score is specifically developed with you in mind. There's no more need for an attorney, credit repair companies, or credit counseling. More importantly, no more need for paying higher fees. Turn score will help you get back on track and get the buying power you need. So whether you have bad credit, average credit, or even good credit, Turn score is helping turn lives around one credit score at a time. Go to turnscore.com and enter the promo code MSC20 and get 20 bucks off your purchase. That's T U R N S C O com T-U-R-N-S-C-O-R.com. Turnscore.com.
something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arm. You're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. This is Dominic, and I'm live here at Rock on the Range. And we got the guys here from Gemini Syndrome on here. So I'm going to pass the mic around here and we're going to talk, ask who they are, and see what's going on with them in the band. What's up? I'm Brian, and I drum. I'm Aaron, and I sing. I'm Rich. I play guitar. Nice, man. You guys here at Rock on the Range, man, this was a sold out show. It's the first in the history of the Rock on the Range, where I think there was like 100,000 100, people or something like that here. And you, take. Yeah, man, you guys, man, you guys rocked the hell out of here yesterday. And, and the word on the street in here is, man, you guys kind of stole the show yesterday. And especially from what I've been hearing, from what I've been hearing in 10 here. So especially the other guys who does the show here with me, too, he's not here today. But he said that you guys blew him away at here, so he really enjoyed that. Well, we're happy to hear that, and we look forward to doing it again. Nice. So how'd you guys get on this, um, the bill for rocking the range? Uh, just mutual business acquaintances and friends and that sort of thing, you know, like we have our management, we have our label. Um, because I was going to say something fun, like it was a lottery or no, some no, shit. We, had, we actually uh, lit candles, did a seance, and flipped some tarot cards and made a deal with the devil, and now we're here. Yep. That's the shit I wanted to hear. Yep. <laughs> dice, and then the dice came up, you know, like a word on each dice that said, rock on the range. Nice, nice. So what's some of the crazy shit you've seen here on this weekend at Rock on the Range? I don't, I've done a thousand interviews. I've been in this tent like you have. Oh, man. I see you all over the place here, man, working the crowd, man. And, and it's, it's, it makes somebody like us in the media over here, I'm really proud to see that you guys are you know, really working and you're not giving up like being like the rock stars who won't come out here and talk with us. And you guys believe in your music. You believe in what you do. And it's and people need to know that, man. You guys believe in what you're doing. And they need to know that and be part of that and, and you know, get sucked into um, Gemini Syndrome. The truth of the matter is that, you know, without the fans, we're just rehearsing in a room somewhere or on a stage, and it's empty. So without them, what are we doing? You know what I mean? you got to take the time to go meet people and thank them for spending their time with us, creating that kind of community and bond between us. Definitely. Are you guys planning to um, go on, an, on a tour this year and, like, um, do more festivals, or are you guys doing something else? We, we've been on tour since the beginning of the year. Uh, we're, we've been doing these festivals uh, mixed in with um, some device and non-point dates. Uh, we'll be on that till the end of the month, and then we uh, meet up with Red Light Chemistry oh, nice. for a bit, and then uh, after that we have Drowning Pool and Pop Evil. Oh, sweet, man. You're with, so you have a nice click of bands, man. Everybody from, you know, Nine Point, you got, got our good friend Rob Rivera in the band there. And he's a great guy, man. I hope he's treating you guys good on the road there. <laughs> oh, he's a good guy. <laughs> and you guys with Pop Evil. So you guys got you guys got all the melody there. You guys got the, the hardcore music there and stuff. And man, it sounds like it's going to be a really kick-ass tour for you guys. We're definitely looking forward to it. Are you guys in Europe or anything like that? Uh, tentatively, 2014, and uh, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. Nice. I know you guys are busy over here. Just, just a couple more things. I'll let you get going over here. But you know, how can people get a hold of your music? Uh, you can go to GeminiSyndrome.com. We have. Uh, you can download the music there. You can get some more stuff off of iTunes. Uh, we just got done recording a video for Basement, which will be out uh, in a little bit, and we will be releasing the album in summer. Nice. Uh, what song would you like for us to play after the interview? Uh, let's play some Basement. Nice. Uh, can you do us a quick favor? Can you do a promo ID for the show? Can you say the name you're, say your name, the band you're with? You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise, and then throw some crazy out at the end of it. Uncensored net noise. Uncensored net noise. Uncensored. Don't put no don't, don't don't put no thought into this. Just wing it. And this is Aaron from Gemini Syndrome, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. Whoa, yeah! Nice. Thank you. Previously on Uncensored Net Noise. Did you uh, did you get anything with Cheap Trick? No, they weren't doing any type of media. No. What do you expect those old ass motherfuckers can't get off their in their wheelchairs to roll down here to the media center and uh, hang out with all the proper people? All right, so everything everything's everything's going good right now at uh, at Rock on the Range, right? Yeah, other than myself, man, I'm falling apart physically. So uh, other than that, I'm at last year they let just about anybody who said they had uh, any type of organization that could be part of this. Right. But if you weren't part of like something big and they recognize. Uh, morning Show Central, and that, that was the way that we got in here this year. That's awesome. Uh, we're, That's we're, awesome. We're here next to uh, stations from uh, Massachusetts, West, 
West Virginia, um, North Carolina, I mean, all over the state, and they're from all over, even Alaska. These are all regular terrestrial stations, and we were leading the force. And we, like I said, we had um, most, of, most of the bands, they came right to us because once they saw the sign in the Morning Show Central up here in the post, man, they went, they went sick, man. They like, we got to get out of here, man. That's Talk awesome. That's awesome. See, look out at Terrestrial Radio. We're coming for you. That's all I got to say. Terrestrial Radio, your guys are dead. <laughs> it's uncensored net uncensored noise. Uncensored net noise. What have, 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 what happens when a dysfunctional family stops taking their medication? Oh, this is so hilarious. Keep listening and find out. It's uncensored net noise. Demise is in the chat room. Wow. Okay. Hi. You want to call the show? The number is 888-668-0742 or get to the website morningshowcentral.com. Dom's in there right now. I sure am. And I'm wearing Speedos. You're wearing what? I just I just wanted to throw it out there. You're wearing Speedos? Okay. That's weird. I wanted to say spandex, okay. but Speedos came out first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, uh, you, you guys heard about that. You, you all can chime in on this, too. Um, you heard about that Charles Ramsey guy, right? Where he went and, I guess, saved those girls, Gina and Michelle and uh, Amanda. And uh, he became the, the big hero. And now he has... Now he has a... Own a, talk show. Well, no. He's got his own action figure now. Okay. Uh, there, McDonald's has given him free food for a year. And he's got a Chuck card. They call it a Chuck card. He can go to any restaurant that's labeled on the back of the Chuck card in Cleveland to get free food. Okay. Nice. Can I say some save three bitches and I can get some free food too? Okay. Now, here's the big thing. Now, I'm glad Darnell's here for this one. Uh-oh. Where are you going to okay. throw him under the bus? <laughs> okay. Because he now has a statue of himself. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> In all places, Kentucky. What part? The, the lynching part? No. <laughs> <laughs> now that you bring it. Yeah, now that, that you bring it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, he's got... Now, I think it's a little bit ridiculous now. I think it's... I mean, uh, great. He saved them. I, you know, I, we commend him. He's uh, a humanitarian. He did his thing. Thank you. And But now, why a what, statue? Wait, what actually did he do? He... Did he break into the house? No, and he, out? He, he. Well, he, well, he just said he just said he had he had three white bitches running, jumped in his arms, and he called nine one one. Right. So he's so I don't still understand how that makes him a hero. Well, the bottom he had a phone. The bottom half of the door <laughs> it worked. Uh, the bottom half of the door they were trying to get it open or whatever, kick the screen door or something. So he, I guess he broke that and and that's how they got out or something like that. He, he was like, "There's some white bitches in there. Right. I'll give me some white bitches." Right. <laughs> Well, his his exact words. No, nah, I'm just trying to be funny on that. That's his, a no, but his ex, his 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 actual words. But were. still, there were some white bitches in there. Right. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. She thought it was Mandingo. Right. So he he saved these girls. Now he has a statue. It's going to be here in uh, Kentucky or whatever. I guess it's going to be on display in Kentucky for a little while. Um, oh, and, it's going on tour. And then it's going to come to Cleveland. And I guess Cleveland has to find a spot for it now. Oh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Or something. Who knows? It's going to be right in front of that house. Uh, speaking of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, do you know the Stones, their exhibit? Is I'm so up? happy that the Grateful Dead exhibit is down. Are you really? Oh, my God. Yeah, well, it's actually going to be up till uh, the Stones hearing, the. I guess the, uh, the whole exhibit's going to be up until next March. You know, there's two bands I hate. What's that? Rolling Stones, right? Grateful Dead, to both I, of them, and the Beatles, and oh, Nirvana. Oh, come on, and the Beatles Nirvana. Are, I hate the Grateful Dead. The and Beatles I are hate awesome. The Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. Those are my two no no. Well, you guys, well, the yes. Beatles were so fucking overrated. No, they weren't. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, they no, were they weren't. Yeah, you was. guys suck. When that it comes band, they were just a jam band. That's all they were. No, Beatles fucking blew. They blew Dead Goat. <sighs> 
<laughs> Tell that to Shannon in the chat room. Shannon beetles suck, man. They blow dead goat. Yeah, well, she she knows where you live too. That's all right. All right, so I got this parody <laughs> song by a good friend of the station, uh, uh, Daryl uh, Dale Officer. He's on Facebook. Find him on Facebook, Dale Officer. Now, how he, do you know this guy? Uh, he actually he's in broadcasting, and uh, he sent what me, kind of is, like like what we're doing? Oh, he he went to school for it and uh, everything. So he okay. he's a. Uh, so that's not really broadcasting then. Well, no, he because what we're doing is really broadcasting. He, he broadcasts too, so um, he does a lot of production behind the scenes stuff. So he sent me over this clip. It's the Charles Ramsey parody song. Okay. So, so I want I want to go ahead and play it for you guys. It's got to be something with white bitches running into my arms. <laughs> no, it's oh. got to be like that and free food and shit like that. And I got my check and stuff like that. Here we go. Her screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of the house. So I go on the porch and she says, help me get out. I've been in here a long time. So I open the door and we can't get in that way because how the door is, the body can't fit through, only your hand. So we can kick the bottom. And she comes out with the little girl and she says, call 911. My name is Amanda Berry. Charles Ramsey. I thought this girl was dead. It's a something strange going on next door. Who you gonna call? Charles Ramsey! And you hear a scream that you can't ignore. Who you gonna call? Charles Ramsey! We see this dude every day. I mean, every day. I barbecue with this dude. We eat ribs and whatnot. You had no indication that there was anything. Hey, bro, not a clue that that girl was in that house. Because we eat ribs and whatnot. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Charles, thank you very much. Big giveaway. There's a pretty white girl who's in a jam. Who can you call? Charles Ramsey. Big giveaway. And you need someone who won't turn and scram. Who you gonna call? Charles Ramsey. So he's somebody that you look and you look away because he's not doing nothing but the average stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nothing exciting about him. We eat ribs and whatnot. How he is, is I, he just comes out to his backyard, plays with the dogs, taking with his cars and motorcycles. We eat ribs and whatnot. It's Sunday ride on the near west side, baby. You better call Charles Ramsey. For the bad guys go. There's a song from uh, wow. Dell Officer from uh, Facebook. Find him on Facebook, Dell Officer. Just do a search for him. You'll be able to find him. He he uh, put this parody together and sent it that over to us. That was pretty good. I thought it was, it was pretty good, good, though. Uh, and then also, I don't know if you guys heard some of those. I'm not going to play any of them, but some of those uh, remixes that were done. Yeah. The auto-tune thing with Charles Ramsey. It's yeah, it's insane. They're doing a lot of crazy stuff, though. But I think it's a. I think I, I think the whole thing. They're going a little too far with with uh, with everything. Uh, as far as the um, uh, making a statue of him, I mean, I'm sure that you know everything that he got so far. I'm sure he's got the reward money coming to him too. I think, and and, and the food from McDonald's, and then he's got the Chuck card, uh, and and all this other stuff. And and now they are they're going to erect a statue of Charles Ramsey here in Cleveland somewhere. I don't know where. You think you're gonna make I think a... they should put it at the end of Seymour Avenue. That's where I think they should put it. You think you're going to have that statue and have him um, like he's got a, a big package? I don't know. I think, I don't know. Think I, about it. I seen I seen just the head of the statue. They, yeah. they haven't even made the body yet. Oh, they haven't? No, they just made the head so far. So I'm thinking maybe this might be a bust of them too. Oh. So who knows? But they said statue. So I'm thinking full life statue, everything. So what's he gonna have like like three little girls or three chicks hanging in his arms and shit, like well, riding his leg and shit. Well, here's the thing: I don't understand why they don't make a statue of all three of the girls too. Because nobody knows what the hell they look like yet. We can see these little pictures that they had when they were 14 and 50. I'm sick of seeing that shit. Well, yeah. Well, it's gonna take some time. For okay, them. you know, I say this. Okay, they're they're found. That 
let's move on, man. I know. Yeah. They got fucking four hundred thousand dollars or some shit like that. I say it's up to five hundred and sixty thousand. Five hundred and sixty thousand split between three hoes, right? And that's what they were, weren't they? No. That they were forced to put out, didn't they? Well, yeah, by the, the, the Castro guy, yeah. I mean, but they're they're not hoes. <laughs> well, they were working for him. Well, in a prostitution technically, thing, weren't they? Te- oh, yeah, technically. They were hoes. Technically, but they're not hoes. It was, it was, a, it was a slavery thing, They weren't getting it? money for it. They were getting food instead. Well, that's that's hoeing. <laughs> Crack hoes do that shit. Okay. All right. They'll, they'll, they'll suck your dick for a cheeseburger. <laughs> I guess. No, wait. Did you ever it, see uh, Friday? I'll suck is it me or does, does fucking Charles Ramsey look like show enough from Last Dragon? Yeah, that. And then he also looks like the barber from fucking, uh, uh, what is it, uh, uh, that Eddie Murphy movie, uh, Coming to America. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like the barber from Coming uh, Coming to America. <laughs> He's going to be working for the Cavs Who's before the you know it. Show enough. Right. <laughs> I- I'm waiting for him to start doing fucking uh, announcements or something like that next, you know? Yeah. I'd love to have him in here for voiceovers because every other word out of his mouth would be a cuss word. Because if you've heard the 911 tape of him, him talking about, you know, getting a man out and whatever... And then he goes, I don't know who the hell this bitch is. You know what I'm saying? She said her name was Amanda Burry or something. And I'm like, well, really? Did he sound like Cleveland Brown? <laughs> no. That's funny. No, I don't know. I, now that you think, and now that I think about it, I don't know. I, I really, let me see if I have that 911 tape still of uh, Charles Ramsey. Let me see if I have it. This here. is a special um, news report right now. The Penguins advance to the East Conference Finals with a 6 2 win over the Senators in Game 5. Woo! No, I have the Amanda Berry. I have the Amanda Berry 911 tape. That's all I have. I don't, help! Have, I don't have him. Help! Right. I'm Amanda Berry. Help! Right. And that's the other thing, too. Help! That's the other thing, too. That's that what she said. That 911 operator, they should throw her ass in the you know, jail. All- You're going to have to wait. <laughs> you already, already waited 10 years What the fuck are you coming out now right. And you gotta wait You tell me all three of those hoes could not beat him up To escape mm. At any given time for the last 10 years mm. He was pretty damn good wasn't he I think so Damn um, he must, I bet you he did the silence of the wham, wham Silence of the lambs Lamb wiener dance around them all the time Probably I, I'd fuck me. You'd fuck me. <laughs> You're gonna fuck me. All right. Here, here's here's the the next story too that I got real quick though. Uh, There's a murder plot. This happened in Miami. Um, this guy was going to kill somebody, but his phone was in his back pocket. And could you guess what happened next? I know. What do you think happened? Nine one one. He dialed nine one one. Yes. Uh, did not know That's the phone. That's a good guess, wasn't it? Didn't you, know, you already looked at the stories? <laughs> but he um, didn't know that he dialed nine one one, and the whole conversation was being recorded by operators. Uh, they caught him by tracking his phone through GPS. Yeah. Well, was Doesn't he that white just or to that singer? Was he a white guy? He was Tim a black. Basis? He was a black guy. That's what just happened in uh, one oh. singer. Looks like yeah. Mark Henry. He yeah, sort of looks like the Keith. wrestler. Yeah, he sort of looks like Keith from our the, Sunday show. The world's strongest man, right, right. there. I'm gonna show Keith this picture. This yeah, Tim Basis, man. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the singer that yeah. tried to yeah. hire a hitman. Yeah, yeah. It's as if you're fucked up. If you're plotting, <laughs> if you're plotting to kill someone, try not to pocket dial nine one one, and uh, you know your plans will get recorded by. Where they catch him at? Popeyes. They actually caught him. More than likely, yeah. On Interstate 95 in Walmart. Oak, no, they they caught him on Inter, Interstate 95 in Oakwood uh, Park. Well, I can't be any more stereotypical. I'm trying. I know. Well, work with I me, think guys. It, I think it was KFC. <laughs> there you I'm go. pretty sure it was KFC. Right. He was driving Whitmore's ribs. <laughs> and it's a liquor store, not Walmart. <laughs> and he was playing Little Wayne. <laughs> Here, uh, here's here's something that can go fuck with the all police. This. <laughs> he was driving a 2012 black Buick. Oh, yeah. He stole it. Was it stolen? Uh, it's a black Buick uh, GS. Was it in his name? I don't know. Uh-oh. No, it was his mom. It was a lease. <laughs> it might have been. Who knows? It was income tax money. <laughs> they were going to pass child support money. They were going to soon anyway. That was, was drug pass, money. His past child support he was holding out on. Uh, homicide detectives arrested Simon, 
24. He's 24 years old. Who's Simon? <laughs> his name is Simon. Yeah. His name black, ain't Simon. What was the street name? Simon. Fucking backstabber. <laughs> like Darnell, that's kind of gangster. But Simon? Simon? Yeah, si- Simon. <laughs> uh, that's not going to go over too good in jail. Yeah, he, that's he, not hood at all, dude. Uh-uh. Bend over, Simon. <laughs> he was charged with first degree murder. He did kill one person. Okay. You didn't no. say Simon, Figures. bitch. <laughs> And uh, well, Simon didn't say so. <laughs> he Simon was the trigger man too. Uh, that ki- uh, that killed the guy. So those so they did kill somebody. Yeah, he killed one person, and and the other ones. Oh, so they tracked them down mm-hmm. oh. through their through the GPS on his phone. Damn. Right. So they didn't get there uh, quick enough. So uh, they they tracked him down to a barber shop. <laughs> He uh, remains on bond right now with no, uh, actually with no bail right now. Oh, so well, good for him. Yeah, so he's rotten in jail right now. He gets to eat a bologna sandwich. Exactly, with all the others. Now, now, he didn't actually pull the trigger, right? Yeah, he's the trigger man. Oh, is he? Yeah, okay, he's the actual he's, trigger he's, man. Yeah. Okay, he's done. Yeah, he's done. They need um, to give him a second chance, though. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm gonna call my friends Sharpton. But he's, he's dead. dead. Right. Fuck, I'm still calling them. <laughs> Afterlife? You get a Ouija board? Hey, Al Sharpton, bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> bring nothing up? I call the Rainbow Coalition. No, that's a, he's still alive. Sharpton's still alive. Yeah, Sharpton's alive. You're oh. thinking of, uh, what's his name? Um, what's it, who's who's OJ's uh, lawyer? Johnny Cochran. Johnny right. Cochran. If it don't fit, yeah. you must acquit. Yeah, 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 he's dead. So, um, I know too many black things. Uh, <laughs> Well, evidently your boy knows more. Um, he, yeah, he, yeah. he won the watermelon. Yeah, yeah. But um, here's the thing: Have you ever any of you guys drink? You like drinking scotch? No. Nah. Do you like scotch? The, the liquor. Uh, oh, I thought you about like yeah. butterscotch. Not that type of scotch. No. Scotch. You know, regular. Scotch. He likes to enjoy a nice scotch. Well, evidently there was a, a bar in uh, New Trent uh, in Trenton, New Jersey. That actually was serving rubbing alcohol instead of bourbon. Oh well, people in Scotch. New Jersey they yeah. do that kind of shit. Um, there was a TGI Fridays that was accused of uh, substituting cheap booze with rubbing alcohol. You know, what it used, instead of selling Scotch to them, they were selling rubbing alcohol at a TGI Friday. Um, That's not good. They're under clear. investigation right now. The store right now, actually, well, the restaurant is now closed right now. The Attorney General, Jeffrey, whatever the hell his last name, said that uh, this is an alleged scheme to dis uh, honest uh, customers and consumers, and uh, he's going to uh, um, make sure that it never happens again. So right now, they um, closed the restaurant right now. They collected 1,000 open bottles of vodka, gin, rum, scotch, whiskey, and tequila from the wells at the bar. So they're going to test all that stuff. And then also, they're also testing the funnels that they use to refill the bottles or yes. whatever. So they're going to test and see if they if they can find rubbing alcohol in any of those, too, or any other substance in there. So they were substituting rubbing alcohol with scotch. Yeah, it's so sweet. it's alcohol. No, it's not alcohol. So probably getting it might have been so fucking yeah. Everclear or something. Yeah, so what's wrong with rubbing alcohol? You could drink some of that shit. Uh, He'll be fucked. Uh. No, you'll die, dude. <laughs> Eat your insides, dude. So th- if they're selling it, it's got to be good. Yeah. What do you got uh, over there, Dom? Oh, check this out, man. This is messed up. I actually could see this kind of shit happening in the white trash community. You're right. This cup, this police man, they, they put this report out that a couple will stab each other over American Idol. So there are these these two. Th- let's see what their names were. Um, Elaine Harrelson and Gregory Stambaugh. Wait, how? Oh, so they weren't married. They were just a couple. And they got in this little bicker over uh, who they thought was a better singer between this white bitch or this other bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Candace Glover, the fat chick or the skinnier chick? Yeah, it was they're both chunky. Yeah, they're both contestants. Or Cree. Right. Both of them. I, sh- I, th- I still think Cree should have won. It says here, both of the two ladies both liked it in the anal. Oh, wait, no, I read that wrong. Yeah, you did. Oh. <laughs> but still, I'm that's, sure they that did. That sounded good. That's, that's there you go. Cool. We'll roll with that. Right. Okay, so they were arguing over who's who's the better singer. Right. And so one stabbed the other one, and the other one went and grabbed the knife, and they stabbed the other one. So the police came, and they want to know who made the first stab, and they both said they stabbed each other at the same time. <laughs> 
That's what happens when you drink Pabst That's, Blue Ribbon. Yeah, yeah. do it. Yes. <laughs> Especially white trash, dude. I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to drink that, this Pabst Blue Ribbon. That, that's what happens in York, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to take out this butter knife and stab you in the chest with it. <laughs> Fuck you, sister. <laughs> and after we're done, we're going to go to the TGI Friday and drink some rub and alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> That's hot, man. We do sh- <laughs> produce some shots of some rub and alcohol. Right. Smoke some Chesterfield Kings. <laughs> I haven't seen that shit in years. Chesterfield some lucky stri- lucky strikes. Well, yeah. Go home, fuck Ma <laughs> and Paul <laughs> and the goat. God, do what we gotta do? <laughs> exactly. All right, we're gonna take our last break of the night. And we're gonna come it's back. That Steel Panther interview. Yes, we're gonna play the Ooh. Steel Panther interview next. So I really can't wait. We'll take our last break of the night, and uh, we'll get to Steel Panther next. You're listening to Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. You're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. <laughs> Don't touch that mouse, or we'll come to your home and pistol whip you. Ah! You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, this is Steve Snyder from Twisted Sister, and you're listening to Uncensored Net Noise. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. You want a date? I'm going to puke on you. Gee, I don't think I have a price for that. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Right here on MorningShowCentral.com. If you have a product or service, let people know about it. Get your message out there and advertise on MSC Radio Network. It's easier than you think. And the whole planet is listening. Find out how you can advertise. Email Chris at MorningShowCentral.com. Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits, a 99.5% uptime guarantee, and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only three a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. Hey, local bands and unsigned artists. What if I told you there was a place in Cleveland where you can get your merch made and have it sold in one location? What if I said you could bring your CDs and tickets to upcoming shows to this location? And what if I said you could do live acoustic sets at this location? I bet you're thinking there's no such place in Cleveland. Guess what? You'd be wrong. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland and tell him you need merch made and you want to sell it in his store. Now, how cool is that? You can tell your fans to come down and get your stuff. And I think he'd ship your products to your fans. And he's local. Contact Rick Navario at Rock City Cleveland today. 216-622-0377. That's 216-622-0377. Call the show toll free. 1 888 668 0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Check out Uncensored Net Noise every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. Oh, great. 
Not another Farmville request. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash morning show central. Denying one Farmville request at a time. <laughs> Prepare to get your car rock to kingdom come. Huh? Welcome back to the show that doesn't discriminate. We'll bang everyone equally. You can handle that? You've got a job. It's Uncensored Net Noise. It's Uncensored Net Noise. Welcome back to Uncensored Net Noise. Live on morningshowcentral.com. If you'd like to call the show, 1-888-668-0742. We're rolling. Hey, this is Michael. And this is Satchel from Steel Panther, an awesome band. Lexi from Steel Panther. Yeah, I was about to say, man, it's Steel Panther. And this is, one of the, this is the greatest band ever of all time. Man. In the known universe. And they are not just saying that because we paid them, okay? They mean it. And any other band that thinks they're better can eat a dick. Yeah, you can suck all of our dicks at the same time. Can we swear? Yeah, you can. Fuck, 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 fuck. So thank you. Let's start, to, let's start this question out with the most important question. Is it true that you cannot catch herpes twice? It is fucking true, and I don't care. You, you can talk to your doctor about that, and they may lie to you. That's just because they're being paid billions, trillions of dollars by the condom manufacturers to promote condoms for no reason other than they want people to have uh, not as much fun fucking people. Right, Lexi? That's why we're trying to keep them down. Santa, we talked about it two years ago about, um, about Steel Panther pointing out the condoms, you know, endorsed by Steel Panther. Are these, has it been the process of being in the works or anything like that? Well, no, because, I, you know, honestly, in order to produce our own condoms, we have to try them on and shit like that. And I hate putting condoms on. I don't well, know. they don't have the tips. You know what? Maybe just like the little the cock ring, little little cock ring at the bottom. Yeah, you wrap your balls around it, so and uh, more than like sometimes that, yeah, that's pretty fun too. Yeah, because I mean, I know, I know, Lexi has a problem with just like you know two pumps and he's done. You know, yeah. he's a two you pump chump. Last two chump twos. Well, I, I, because I, you know, and I don't care because it, if it, you know, I'm getting older now and those pills don't work like they used to, so. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 sometimes I can last a little bit longer. It depends on how hot she is. Or he? Well, the, 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 let me tell you something. The hotter the girl is, the, the, fa- the faster I'm done. If she's super hot, I'm I'm usually done before I take my pants off. Sometimes I can, sometimes if she's really really extra hot, then I'll sit there and look at her more and then do it again. And I count that as one time. Oh, gotcha. Is there any truth to the rumor that Lexi is joining Man of War and he's actually wearing a, a loincloth right now? Are you joining Man of War? I don't even know who that is. Yeah, some, that must be a rumor then. Man, dude, Man of War, they're pretty manly, dude. They're fucking... They, sound they don't like, shave their legs or anything. It's they fucking... sound like they, they fight. Oh, they do. They eat people. Man of War, I don't know if you noticed, but Man of War, I saw them at another festival. They were eating one of their guitar techs. I don't want to be in that they band. They cooked them up and they fucking ate them back. I don't want to be in that Because band. the catering was over at 1030 and all these guys in Man of War were super hungry. That's and all they I had be pitch- in that band. No, I don't think you should be in that band. Why they- did they, are they, how come they, everybody's saying that? They used a pitchfork on this guy and they fried him up like, uh, like he was a piece of meat. I don't want to do that band. Okay, well, I think the rumor was started because someone saw you wearing a, a fur loin cloth. Wow. What kind of videos are you doing? Oh, I, I also heard we're, that you were... We're not judging. We're just yeah. asking. Yeah. We also heard you were doing a fill-in as a stunt double for Lita Ford in her upcoming movie that she's making. Is this true? I think you look more like Farrah Fawcett, to be honest oh, with you. Oh, he's much hotter than Lita Ford. I think Thank you're you. way hotter, way fucking hotter than Lita Thank Ford. Thank you very much. I would fuck you way quicker than I would fuck Lita Ford. Give me knuckles right now. I love you, buddy. I love you. And I, you know, I would feel, seriously, I don't want to fuck you because you're in my band. But, you know, I mean. But when it comes to payday, you're all getting fucked up. If I had to choose between Lita Ford and you, I would fuck you any day of the week. I appreciate that. Sometimes what happens, and it's sucky, and we don't have to talk about it now. When we go to, this is to prove you how much Satchel really does think I'm foxy. Sometimes, like, I'll get hammered and I'll, I'll pass out in my bunk. And, no, I don't want to talk about that. Does he bleach your asshole? No, he doesn't do that. Well, no, Lexi does that. But I'm, I just, that I'm just glad that he does. You, know, you don't use the same mirror, do you? No, as a matter of fact, somebody just bought this or got this for me the other day. And LF stands for Lexi Fox. That's how I know it's mine. It's awesome. He hey, won't, he won't let us touch his mirror. We're getting the sign from your, your uh, controller. We want to thank you for taking time with us. The, the ultimate band in the, the known and oh, unknown definitely. universe. Thank you. Thank let you me very amend much. that. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. We that is a fucking fact, and you can look it up on Wikipedia. We're fucking that good. What did you say? Can you do a promo ID for us, also? Fuck yes, motherfucker. Go for it. What's the station? The uh, station is Lex. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. You're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Previously, Previously on Uncensored Net Noise. Now, my question to you, if you want to call the show, the number is 888-668-0742. Have you ever had a bout with... The you know the runs or diarrhea or whatever and you're on your way home from someplace and you couldn't find a bathroom anywhere and you got to the verge where you almost shit yourself in your car. I I, I really want to know if there's someone out there. I did it. I, I I didn't shit myself, but I was on the verge. I mean, I was literally on the verge where I was almost about the, where the nugget was ready to come out of the uh, out of the back of me. All right, and I I made it. <laughs> In all my years of radio, I've never seen anything like this. Some shows simply don't give a fuck. <gasps> this is one of those shows. Yeah! Woo! You're listening to Uncensored Ned Noise. All right, we're back. Thank God. So all I got to say is that interview with Steel Panther, classic. Yeah, it was. Did we talk anything about music? Nothing. <laughs> Not a damn thing. That's how interviews should be ran. I, I love. Amazing. I loved how you threw in like little one-liners and they didn't catch any of I know, it. I know. And I'm like, really, you guys? It, none of the guys from Steel Panther caught it, and it was it was awesome though because. <laughs> The uh, the whole time when the, the the part where he was talking about getting paid or something yeah. like that, and then uh, you said, uh, I said, you? I said you guys are all getting fucked on payday, anyways. right? Exactly, <laughs> and he didn't even hear you at all, though. That was great, though. Then when, the, when I was talking about Lexi saying, um, oh, I forgot what he said. When I fucking forget. I like I like when Michael turned around and said, "Do you bleach your asshole?" Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, really? oh man, he he did a lot of those things like that. We were doing the riddle. During the interviews and stuff, I'd have a real serious interview, and Michael would just stick his head over, and he'd, he'd just come out of the blue with, with something off the wall like that, and the guy's just looking like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> do you ever do you ever, do you ever wonder, like, you're going to get your ass beat when, you, when you're in front of these people um, like that? Did you ever have a point where someone went to whoop yeah, your ass? Yeah, we almost had one with Chris Jericho. Really? On the tour bus. Really? Yeah, because he, he was talking about... Um, he asked Chris Jericho because Chris Jericho was really was out promoting his his record, the late, latest Fozzie, and then being on right, tour and stuff, right. coming off Uproar Festival, and and I did an interview with Chris before, and I you know, I brought my daughter with me and stuff. My and she was with me at this interview too, right? And so he was all looking forward to you know hanging out and talking music and stuff like you'll we did never before. have him again. Oh man, his question to uh, Chris Jericho was like, um. Chris, would you ever think about sleeping with a post-op tranny? <laughs> he told him that, and he just looked at him like, what did you just ask me? And he got so defensive, he started started seeing the little veins coming out in his head and shit. He's ready to wrestle you. I thought he was going to fuck him up. <laughs> he, he started just moving around like, man, damn, I'm about to watch, to watch Michael get fucked up. <laughs> going to put him in the lion tamer. <laughs> That's messed up, though. <laughs> I mean, it's. I think it's great to do it over the phone with them, but it's yeah. also great when you're face to face with them and they have nowhere to go. That's right. And you got them boxed in the corner, and it's freaking. And you got a microphone funny. in your face, and you're asking them a question. They got to answer. They have to answer because there's a camera and, and a microphone in their face. That's it. That's great, dude. That's awesome. Um, I got Dom's got a story over there. I'll let you go through. Oh it. yeah, bras. Yeah. They make breasts saggier. This is a 15 year French study reveals. Uh, here, I'm going to give you a little breakdown of, let you know a little more about this. They say that women have long been told that a good bra can help support the chest, relieve back pain, and prevent sagging. However, a new 15-year French study reveals the opposite. Bras do little to reduce back pain, and over time, they can actually make breasts even more. Do you think that's true? Do you, I mean... I don't know. For black chicks, yeah. For black chicks, you think? Well, actually, you know, black chicks don't wear bras. 
Yeah, that, that that is true because you see them in Walmart and yeah. they're walking around with no bra on. So yeah, and then you got yeah you, you got side boob coming out. Yeah, you know, back, back boob. fat and back boob. <laughs> Yeah, she's got back fat. So, I mean, you, you start seeing it coming out, though. And she's got, like, boobs on the front and boobs in the back, though. It's kind of... Boobs on her legs, too. Right, exactly. <laughs> Let's say she's got, like, fucking pieces of fried chicken on her legs, you know. It's like, Why's it got to be fried chicken? Why's it got to be fried chicken? Why's it got to be fried chicken? Yeah. Why couldn't it be cornbread? It could have been. could have been. But, yeah, I mean, I don't think... a bra. My wife, she's like that. She's like, I'm not walking out of the house without a bra. I'm like... But does her titties touch her knees? No. Okay, well, there you go, then. Exactly. It's true. Right. Do you want them to touch her knees? But the, uh, the, you could throw them over your shoulders. Well, that would be fun, but I don't, I don't... You have fun bags on your back. I could. Think about it. Punching bag, man. Think about On your back, though. It'd be like, pad, yeah. like yeah. paddling ham on your back. Exactly. I could, I could be a linebacker. Shannon, I'm not really directing this towards you. I'm just saying this in general. I could, I could, I could be a linebacker. That'd be ba- great. Because I can have the pads, you know, as the boots, yeah. you know, I can be a linebacker. Would then. you run around the house like that? I, yeah. Have her put her legs around your waist and run around with her, with her tatas over your shoulder? That would be great, though. That'd, <laughs> That'd be, be funny, man. I'd it like would, to see video of that. It would be great, though, but you never do it, though. Yeah. Well, so. you know how it is. Well, you want to hear what their supporting um, documentation is? Yeah. They say the findings suggest that the breasts would gain more tone and support themselves if no bra was used. See? Research explains that bras limit the growth of supporting breast tissue, leaving the breast to wither and degrade more quickly. See? So, ladies, stop wearing bras. That's right. I'll walk around with a water can and start spraying you. I support nipples. Right. I love seeing nipples. I like boobs. Me too. I like nipples, and I cannot lie. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I have... I. I not support. the ones that not the ones that look like fucking hard salami. Yeah. Or baloney titties. Right. I'm not down with baloney titties. Are you no. down with baloney titties? No. Uh, no. Fucking torpedo titties. No. Those are nasty. Kind of look like pencils and shit. Right, exactly. They still got like Madonna's, you know, cone <laughs> tits. You know what I'm saying? I mean they kinda go out like about like seven inches, then they drop straight down. Right, exactly. Like, they're like they're like, fucking looking for water. It's like the demon drop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So they first come out and then they just you know they do they yeah. do a nosedive and uh-huh. shit. yeah exactly or they're like fucking like torpedoes and that's shit, right you know? so i mean it's that's not, that's hot it is hot but do you ever see a stripper that had some fucked up titties out there dancing oh uh, dude he's looking at me like what the fuck are you doing dude, out there? no i saw a chick that had a breast enhancement and one nipple was going this way and the other nipple was going <laughs> that way it was like it had it, like it was cross-eyed or something do you ever see them when they put them too close together yeah that's fucked up. It's like Asian titties. You ever see Asian titties? No. They're like that. You know, also Asian stanch is also slanted just a little bit. Oh, of just, course. Just a little right. bit. Yeah, because the equator. No, it's because of their <laughs> eyes. <laughs> equator. Okay, Asians are the same. <laughs> but that, that that leads to my question, though. I mean. Asian titties? No. It might, that leads they got to, littler titties. They do. They do. They I do. They're, they're, they're like hand size. They fit right in the palm of your hand. Right. They're nice, man. What is that old saying true? If they're more than a handful, they're a waste. As lo- no, no, no. no. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the titty looks like as long as she's got nice nipples. That's what counts, right? That's yeah. what guys like. They don't like fucked up nipples. They don't like the kind that look like they've been shooting fucking milk out of them like for ten years straight, <laughs> like a water fountain. You know, guys don't like that shit. No, we like nice, pretty nipples. Your fucking areola, man. That's another story there. Like I said, if, you, if it looks like fucking oh. like a big ass piece of baloney or some salami. hard salami right. with a fucking big ass eraser nipple on it, I don't know, <laughs> man. Eraser nipple. It's like an eraser. That's hand. not good sweater meat for me. No, it's not. It's not. I agree. I agree with you. I agree. But yeah, I mean, that leads to my question, though. Sweater meat? No. What do you like? What do you prefer as far as breast? I mean, the size, size wise. What size breast? It doesn't matter, man. Doesn't matter to no. you? How about you, Billy? What's a C. A C? How about you, Darnell? Just boobs, period. Just boob, boob period. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. I like the small size. boobs. You like small boobs? small boobs? Yeah. So you like like C cup? So you like the handful? You like moobs? So you want to be able to more than the handful is a waste for you then? Nah. So what if they're a double D? That's fine. That's fine too. My ex was a double D. Well, my one ex. Okay. You guys like your mom's? One? You guys yeah, like your my... mom's boobs? You ever see your mom's boobs no. before? Oh, no. When you were growing no. up at all? Do you remember the last time you were sucking on them, like um, you know, feeding off them? No. That's so gross. Do you ever? Have, did you... Seriously, no, no. You well, don't. You don't have to hold back. No. Nobody's no, listening. No. Wait. No. Do you, did you ever? Did you ever in your lifetime see your mom and dad have sex? No, they broke up. 
as soon as I was born. I did. Uh, it was traumatic. Did you? Dude, it was traumatic. Was it traumatic? Oh, I, 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 I fucking cried, dude. Me too. It was <laughs> right. They're getting a groove on. No, it was bad. No, dude, I walked into my mother and father having sex at the fucking age of 16. I about fucking freaked. There was a threesome then, wasn't it? No, it was just... You got in there and said, I'll take care of you. No. No. Daddy can't do it no more. I'm here, mama. No. Dude, Look, I, was, I can't get this thing down. I, was, I can hold a fucking tire up with this shit. <laughs> Runs to the That's back. before Viagra. When you were young, were you able to hold it? Seriously, were you able to hold a tire up? <laughs> yeah. <probably so. laughs> what fuck happens, man? Life sucks. I know it does. I can't even hold up a Tonka toy. I'm da- I'm <laughs> it's fucking Lego. I'm damn near 40, dude, and I'm already complaining about back aches and shit. From your penis? No. <laughs> your belly? Probably. It's your belly doing yeah. it. No, I'm already complaining about back aches and shit, so I don't know, man. I'll then, see you later afterwards for medication. Yeah, right, exactly. I get you to physical therapy. Yeah, uh, you'll be We'll send you me. to Susie Kim's Rub and Tug. <laughs> Rub and we'll tug. take care of you. $50 a session. $50 make you holler. That's uh, right. Yeah. But, I, yeah, like I said, I, it's, just, it's just weird to me that when I read this story, I'm like, bras help. Wait, moves. wait, wait! No, stop stop one second. When you're when you saw your your parents having sex, you see them like the happy ending. You see them like no, the no, fucking no, no. money shot. You see money shot. All I seen, all I saw was my father going up and down on my mom. That was it. I was the like, money what the shot. fuck what is doing? going on? You know what was going on? You know he was tearing that shit up. <laughs> He's pounding that pussy. <laughs> fuck yeah, he was. Do the same thing you do with your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to bring your dog in, but I forgot Skippy's name. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, uh, that was traumatic experience. What was... Uh, Seriously, did you ever walk in, in the bathroom and see your mother, like, in the shower? No, I never did that. How about... Did you ever see your dad naked? No. No. You know, sometimes you got... I've heard this saying, you have to show your kids your pecker, your package just once, but you got to make sure it's just, like, a little bit, you know, like... I heard fathers. A little term. bit of meat on there. Because the kids, they'll, 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 you know, that's something you'll never forget. So if you were a boy and you saw your dad's pecker, and it was, it was, it was and you think, wow, that fucker was huge, you have a, you have a big, um, you're proud of him. And you hope that someday you can live in, you know, in the loins of that. Yeah, and then you, or you might grow up to be gay. Right, or you got a pencil dick. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that you got turned on by that, but I'm just saying. That's a really nice dick, Dad. <laughs> right, I hope exactly. mine turns out like that. Hey, man, I wouldn't like that in my mouth. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I really don't. Shannon's loving this segment right now. Oh, God. I can't wait till next week when I pull that clip from Billy. That's going to be great, dude. I'm going to play it over and over again. Oh, but he says, what's, what's in, in his mouth? mouth. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, Billy. All right, so Demons Within tomorrow, right? Where are you guys playing at? We're playing at the Old Haunts Tavern in Akron, Ohio. All right, and then uh, you got a show on Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday with, uh, it, uh, not Itch Inside. In sight. In sight. Yeah. Oh, that's with Richie Cavalera's band. All right. And where's those some cool ass guys? Man, tell them I said hi, man. That's gonna be at we'll the shit. I should yeah, do a text right now. What times are these shows? Um, I believe the Foundry one starts at eight. eight. Yeah. Okay. All the information can be found at demons withincom Go there and check out the website. I think all the information is up there. And also go to their website or their Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash demons within. According to my last update, there are thirteen away from the the goal um and i want to thank billy for coming and eating a tartar sauce because you, you made a like hell, my page you you <laughs> gave me the best segment of the night that was great dude and i appreciate it it was uh, i think well i still you still have to trump the guys from morality check uh especially um uh george from morality check the drummer he's also the drummer too he did the the, the gallon challenge the milk challenge where he had to drink a gallon of milk within uh, the hour time of the show without throwing up, and he would win. Well, he didn't make it that long. So he threw up, and we got video of that, too. So You guys need to have, like, a chicken challenge or something for me. Chicken challenge? Yeah. We can actually That'd get... kind of cool. We, we also... We're working on uh, something right now. How about... A, you want to do a hot wing challenge? Fuck yeah. Oh, damn. Why does it got to be chicken wings? I'm so I'm down. saying you can have, like, me against two white guys. No, well, me versus like Darnell. We will have the ultimate I would win, black dude. off. Hands down. Hold on. Hold I want. I want to get on this because it's free food. Hold on a second. Let black me... off. <laughs> I would have to call somebody. Really does it have good. to be really hot, or can it just be just fucking and straight? To wa- and to wash it down, you have to have grape Kool Aid. <gasps> I'm in, man. You fucking said oh, Kool. Yeah. No, and, and, you gotta. You gotta mix it up. You gotta have a black food and a white drink. And pork rinds. Eat some fucking pork rinds in the mix. Yeah, pork rinds. Yeah, do a pound of wings. A pound. 
half a pound of fucking pork rinds, fucking a gallon of fucking grape Kool Aid. I'm in it, I'm man. Down, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're in. I'm fucking yeah. <laughs> how about how about we just do this? We just do the grape Kool Aid, and we do the chicken wings, because you don't even know where we're gonna get the wings from yet. Cause you might you you're gonna enjoy it. So. I, 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 have go to I have my mom. have my mom make them. No 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 no. I got something better. So hold on. Let me make a. Let me uh, see. Triple if... atomic sauce wings. Let me see. Hold oh, on. Dude, no. At least want to enjoy the wings. Uh, hold on one second here. You have, have all we can eat. You ever get atomic hot sauce on your balls? I uh, you keep that to yourself. <laughs> Do you ever have hot sauce put in your butt crack? No. no I've no, seen no. it happen, man, and I feel bad for the this this guy. All right, hold on. shit. Make a phone call real quick. Hello? Hello? Can you get to put the bed? It's going to be a black eye. Hello? Hey, Ron, you're live on the air real quick. I got a quick question. You still have that connection with uh, Buffalo Wild Wings? Uh, the manager's still there, yeah. All right, awesome. Well, I have a contestant for you, Darnell from Demons Within. He wants to challenge you with a chicken wing contest, and uh, you got to get the hottest wings from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. And uh, I also have another contestant that's going to jump in on this, which is Billy from Demons Within. And then, Dom, you said you want to get in on it, yes, too? Yes, as long as there's grape Kool-Aid, I'm in. Right, and then you're going to challenge all three of these assholes and uh, see what happens. You mean no Tahitian treat? It's going to be grape Kool-Aid? Uh, grape Kool-Aid. <laughs> okay, it could be, it, well, I'm thinking <laughs> Tahitian treat would be better. How about Cherokee man? Red? Can I get some Cherokee, Cherokee Red? red? <laughs> Cherokee some, Red would work. Some fucking Shasta? Shasta would be awesome. We, yeah. Do they still make that shit? I'm sure they do. Yeah, I know. I've seen some Cherokee Red. You gotta go to Marks for that stuff. Or the the cotton yeah. the cotton yeah, club. Still Cherokee Red. Yeah. yeah, the cotton club stuff too. That would be oh great. yeah, the, the, the grape, grape the grape cotton, cotton club. club. Whoa, <laughs> yes. that's it. Yes. We need some fucking pork rinds to yeah. start it off. All right, to get warmed up. So can you get can you get in contact with the uh, people from Buffalo Wild Wings and see if we can get that done and then have him come in to officiate uh, the winner. Yeah, how many wings are we talking about? I mean, they're not going to provide them. I can, I can pick them up. All right, well, deal, but. well, I'm thinking maybe, what, uh, three dozen or something like that? Four dozen? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much it costs, though, but I'll help you with it, though, so whatever we can. But um, we can we can see what we can do here. But, yeah, can we find out a date we can do this and then have the guys come back in? Yeah, we could do that. All right, cool. That would be great, though. All right, I just wanted to uh, find out real fast from you if we can get this done, and that'd be great. So uh, let me know, uh, call me, and and then we, we'll go from there with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm on vacation the fifth through the twelfth of June. It'll be after that. All right, cool. Then that'd be great. When you're on vacation, then we'll do the the wing challenge then. Okay. All right. Thanks, Ron. Alrighty. Bye. All right. Later. All right, there's Ron. We got, we got to get TC in on this too, man. He loves chicken too. All right, well, we'll see. We'll see what we can do though. We'll see. Deep, what we can deep do. down inside, he's pretty black. Right. Um, How yeah. far deep? Are you talking about by injection? Now these black things, by injection. Now I'm telling you right now, these <laughs> wings, got soul, man. these wings are no joke, dude. You you actually get a certificate saying that you completed them. That's how hot they are. So I'll take. I'll double up my meprazole. I'm ready. I'm good to go. All right. Well, there you go, man. I'll take my blood pressure medication prior to that. <laughs> I'll make sure I take double up my insulin. I'm ready to roll. They're not. They, they don't talk. Fuck call, yeah, man! I'm ready to rock and roll. They don't call them atomic wings for nothing. I'm getting ready to throw up all over the place. Yeah. And watch that shit fucking burn my nose, my <laughs> eyes, fucking my cheeks, my chin. It's got a my skull, asshole. It's got a skull rate of like what is it? Uh, Ten thousand skull rate or something like that, or a hundred thousand skull rate or something like that. And you get a certificate. Is that good? That's bad. Uh, <laughs> that Dude, your fucking mouth is going to be... Is it as bad as the habanero? Oh, it's worse than habanero. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so... That's all right. Yeah. I think I'm just going like, to take a little fucked. taste and say, fuck it, man. Mm-hmm. I'll watch you guys eat. I just want to fucking... I'll be like fucking trying to rip, rub some of that shit off. Right, so... Put it under all the right. water. I yeah. want <laughs> I want to thank uh, the guys from Demons Within coming in tonight. Uh, thank the guys from Buck Cherry and all Steel the... Steel Panther. Steel Panther. Uh, don't forget, what was the other band? Gemini Syndrome. Syndrome. Yeah, I want to thank those guys for uh, interviewing and everything at the uh, Rock of the R- at the Range uh, show that they did. And uh, you can check it out on our website at uncensorednetnoise.com and, or you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash uncensorednetnoise. Give us a like on uh, Facebook as well, uh, facebook.com forward slash uncensorednetnoise. And uh, also give these guys a like on Facebook as well, uh, facebook.com forward slash demons within. They're officially t- uh, 13 away right now uh, from getting the goal that they want. 
and uh, just give them a like. And check out their show tomorrow, too. Oh, I know. There's one thing I want to throw out there real quick. What's that? Um, the bands, couple bands that we're pushing on here from the, the Maximum Threshold CD are making it on the soundtrack for the Zombie Babies. The, um, that okay. the movie? Yeah, yeah. They actually made it on, on the soundtrack. Oh, that's that's so, awesome. That's awesome. Got a band, couple bands signed. That's Tastes awesome. Like that's awesome. All right, we're going to get the hell up out of here. Uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, don't get too fucked up. And uh, the weather is supposed to be okay come Monday. Tomorrow is supposed to be a little okay. But um, just try to, I don't know, stay safe out there and try to have the best fun you possibly can on this shitty-ass weekend that we got and don't up. get aids and don't get aids yeah, too yeah, AIDS right. yeah, AIDS, yeah it'll fuck your day up yeah, yeah AIDS sucks. it's a lot of fucking medicine but magic johnson's still kicking it did you see that episode of south park that went <laughs> up he did? yeah he fucking injected him with money and yeah, that sure cured AIDS. him yep yeah. see that really it, yep magic johnson man fucking yeah he money. beat aids mm. he he fucking beat aids man that's a fucking major. Overweight and embarrassed to go any place. AIDS helped me get back into a size 12. The AIDS diet plan helped me get back into a size 6. AIDS helps control your appetite so you lose weight. Yet AIDS lets you taste, chew, and enjoy. And the appetite suppressant in AIDS is not a stimulant. AIDS helped me lose the weight and has nothing in it that could make me nervous. Question, why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? AIDS helps you lose weight safely and effectively. Use only as directed. Good night, people. You just gotta know when it's time to quit. Fuck that noise. We're not quitting. I think you can do better, Ted. I beg your pardon? I don't see anybody headed for the door. Listen to me. It's just like trying to fuck a Catholic girl who keeps saying, no, 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 I don't want to. I'm really, really drunk and you're circumcised. But she keeps on making out with you. She's not leaving your fear. I mean, she really wants to. She just needs a little bit of a nudge, right? A little bit of a coax, a little bit of a tickle, just to rationalize it to herself, to her God. Do you know what I mean? Did you miss any of the show? You know, you keep hiding from shit in the world, and eventually the world comes to your front door. Nice. That's very nice. I heard an episode of Touched by an Angel. Then check out our website at MorningShowCentral.com and visit the archives for this and other past shows. Also, check out the games, photo galleries, chat rooms, and more. I heard that doing LSD can awaken your demons. (sighs) I ain't got no demons gonna get woke. The views and opinions expressed on this show are not controlled by the FCC. Our wives, girlfriends, gay lovers, or favorite barnyard animals. And if you have any complaints, call someone who cares. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next week for another sick and twisted edition of Uncensored Ned Noise. I don't want to kiss my microphone. If you have any questions, comments, bitches, complaints, or great stories about barnyard fetishes, shoot us an email at show at morningshowcentral.com. Still can't get enough of Uncensored Ned Noise, then check them out at their website at uncensorednetnoise.com. Or if you want to go the Facebook route, facebook.com slash uncensorednetnoise. And for all the sick videos, youtube.com slash uncensorednetnoise. And be sure to check out the live show next Friday night, beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on morningshowcentral.com. Your ad said you do wet work. That's correct. I urinate on other men for money. From Chris and the rest of the gang here at Uncensored Net Noise, have a great weekend. And we'll catch you next week.